Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. If you were looking for the internet's most exciting and interactive live break room, then you have come to the right place. We are opening live break mystery boxes featuring the biggest names from across the sports world every single day. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down and make it as easy to understand as possible. First, head over to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of our series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win that item at an extremely discounted rate. Next, click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you've completed your checkout, tune into the next available Live Breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at noon, 3, or 6 p.m. Central Time any day of the week. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen when your specific break begins. Your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations, you just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Some of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or open live on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our Signature Points Club. This exclusive club earns you points toward specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Your host tonight is an Eagles fanatic. I already know I like it because it's on a Philadelphia Eagle. He talks about the Eagles even when they aren't being pulled. Can't say enough good things. The only negative thing I can say is he's not a Philadelphia Eagle because we had a horrible draft. I'll always hype up an Eagle. Don't you worry, Fonz. <laughs> Make sure to ask to see a sweet thigh tattoo. Your host tonight, Colin, a.k.a. Thor Rudisil. The moment you have been waiting for has come. Let's break some signed memorabilia. <laughs> and from the UA studios here in Burridge, Illinois, this is Ultimate Autographs. How's everybody doing today? Colin Russo alongside Steven Ryan. It is Wednesday night prime time, and prime time in the break room makes a lot of sense right now. Uh, looking at baseball. We have baseball in the room. That's Let's probably be the hot break for the day. He's amped. I'm amped. And for other reasons, too. We're orange on the sign today. If you're a baseball fan, you know tonight uh, the number one prospect in all of baseball makes his MLB debut, Jackson Holiday. So... Tuning into that, see how he does against the Red Sox in the break room, though. We have two of the best players in the MLB today. Mookie Betts and Ronald Acuna Jr. both still out there. We also have the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. Your favorite player, my favorite player, your favorite player's favorite player, Pedro Martinez, Sammy Sosa, Vlad Sr., uh, John Smoltz, and CC Sabathia all still out there. There's already only 25 boxes left. 11 of them are headliners. College is also best odds in the room right now, I would say. There are 12 boxes left. Five of them are headliners. Eric Dickerson, authentic. Oh, my God, the White Sox are winning big. <laughs> that won't last long. <laughs> Jerome Bettis, Tim Brown, by the way, a little double up there for the Notre Dame lids. Reggie Wayne still out and Jim Kelly. The other series, Steven, are actually all kind of dwindling down. We only have four jerseys left. One of them's a headliner in Dan Fouts. Five minis left. One of them's a headliner in Will Anderson. Only one box left in the practice squad, uh, and then 14 in the one and four. So let's get started. What do you say? Let's get the party rocking. Go and home, Luke. <laughs> he got camera shot. He walked away. What's that jersey there? It's a replacing goose. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, no. oh, my gosh. All right. Let me predict this out. <laughs> let's get in here. Let's go ahead and get the show set up, guys. First and foremost, I will uh, drop in the live breaks page. If you guys want to play in the breaks, that's where you got to go, right there. Nobody in the chat yet. That's all right, though. I'm sure they will come. Hope everybody's doing fine on this Wednesday night. Did you see the video of Jackson Holiday getting the, the promotion? Uh, I saw it. I meant to go back to it, and I didn't watch it all. Oh, okay. But, yeah. It was a really cool uh, one. Yeah, it's like you got to call Pops or something. Yeah. Or... He's like, you got to thank him for letting him come to the ball, the clubhouse, all those things. Mm -hmm. And then you also got to tell him to put him on your guest pass list. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. I like uh, 
uh, Cal Ripken Jr. Yes. Too, was yeah excited that he was going to wear number seven, which is cool because Cal Ripken Sr. was the last one to wear number seven. I'm surprised seven. they hadn't retired that number yet. Yeah, I am too. I was like, what? That number's not retired, but that's awesome that he like he endorses it. Right, yeah. I think if you retire a number and that player says, I want him to wear my number if they want to, I think that should be allowed. You should have retired, yeah. I, yeah, I think that should be a lot. If they're, if they're letting it happen. It's anyway, let's talk about this dice roll. And then, we'll got, and then we'll dive back into baseball. Uh, need to be a six or higher here, guys. It's going to determine the amount of times randomize everybody's names for their divisions, their conferences, or their spots. Uh, eight. Eight is going to be the dice roll. Ocho? Ocho. Ocho. This is our chase wheel spin. It is every series we have here at Ultimate Autographs right now. I was actually going to take practice squad off since there's only one box. Uh, it's already off, so that works out. I'm going to go ahead and give it a spin. Whatever this lands on will be our chase for the day. Uh, if we do any breaks in that series, you'll automatically be entered into a top spot draw to win up to $100 in cash back just for playing. You don't even have to win the break. In this case, it's a good one. It's the mini helmets because mini helmets, there's always two boxes for just $49. And I always say this when it comes to the minis and the jerseys, you might as well go ahead and get a spot because you might win. A, you have two chances to win in the minis. But B, um, uh, if you win the chase wheel spin, the odds would tell you 51% chance you're actually going to end up with more money than what you spent with just one spot. So worth it to at least get one, in my opinion. It was worth it to have a seat at the table. Seat at the table. Head of the table, Roman Reigns. Shout out. That is what happened. Steven is, is getting into wrestling. Sure. <laughs> sure. So I'll have a nice little post-workout on Twitter or something. I don't know what I watched. I did not see that. But that's cool. Good for him. Apparently he's recovering. All right. Bye, Luke. See you, Luke. Uh, we've only got one to go in our baseball series, but I am going to quickly go over this break page. More people are starting to come in the room. I already sent in the chat, uh, but... Actually, it's still right there. It's the most recent link, but I'll go ahead and drop it one more time. If you want to get into the breaks, that's where you got to go. Let's look at what we got, starting with probably the series that's going to be the hottest tonight, the baseball series. It is baseball season after all. We are now into full swing. What, uh, two full weeks in? Is that right? To, to, uh, tomorrow, I think, is the second, you know, that was two weeks from opening day. Yeah. Yeah, it's been fun so far. A lot of big moments. Players starting to stand out. Two of those players are here in this break, including... Uh, and they're both jerseys. Mookie Betts, who you could argue has been the best player since opening day has happened. How It started hot, started fast. He was a great player last year as well. He has been his entire career. Uh, just clearly one of the best in the game. Right next to him, Ronald Acuna Jr. is also still there. He's the NL MVP. He is the best player in baseball, probably. He's a five-tool player. And the best there is on that beautiful red custom Braves jersey right underneath it. Speaking of the Braves... We got John Smoltz on the jersey. Legendary pitcher still out there. Some more legends, including Vladimir Guerrero Sr. That one is on the replica batting helmet. Whether it's Vlad Sr. or Vlad Jr., we accept him in the break room and very clearly headliner-worthy names. How about a slugger? Right underneath him, Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa, Cubs legend, the newest addition to Collins Diamond Dynasty team. There we go. <laughs> got the legendary Sammy Sosa. Uh, hit a lot of dingers in his day. Right next to him, again, our favorite player, me and Stevens, and this guy, obviously one of the more expensive autographs in baseball. That's Ken Griffey Jr. on the beautiful black bat. Uh, we are still looking for the Pedro Martinez Funko Pop, legendary pitcher, uh, and CC Sabathia, speaking of great pitchers. So those are all the photo headliners still there. Two, four, six, eight in total in 25 boxes, but there's still some listed headliners as well and that includes billy wagner paul molitor and jim palmer all still out there 11 headliners 25 boxes only six spots in the entire break pretty good odds to win for just one four to go in the double one to go in the single just 45 bucks you can win that ken griffey jr bat that's pretty crazy yeah, that'll be a story right <laughs> uh, i would think so i would do it if i could i'm not allowed to Let's talk diamonds, because diamonds are pound for pound the best series we have at Ultimate Autographs. It's always a full-size authentic helmet. In this case, a Speed Flex is still out there as far as headliners. We're only down to nine boxes. One of them is an Aaron Donald Speed Flex with a yellow visor. 
maybe one of the best defensive tackles of all time definitely the best defensive tackle of our generation the guy got double teamed every single game that he played in what's up austin says how many to go in the jerseys we'll get to that in just a second my man we'll do that next three three to go there you go aaron donald is still available speed flex in the diamonds in the last nine we also have three listed headliners kenneth walker the third one of the best running backs in the nfl today the defensive rookie of the year will anderson and the great Jim Kelly. Four straight AFC championships, four straight Super Bowls for the man. That is a 4-9 chance at an authentic headliner in the Diamonds. The other five are going to be bangers, too. Sean Alexander, a filler in this Diamond Helmet series. He's usually a headliner just about everywhere else in our break room. We will talk jerseys real quick. It is three to go, as Steven said. $27 a spot. Uh, and I think there's a special right now, too. So check your emails if you haven't. Yeah, but that's true. Four jerseys left in this current series, and then we're on to a brand new one. One headliner, and it is the great Will Anderson in this one as well. Actually, it's Dan Fouts. I was looking at the minis. Dan Fouts. It is the powder blue jersey series. Makes sense we have a powder blue headliner here in the jerseys. Dan Fouts is a surprisingly expensive autograph. Uh, I mean, maybe not surprising. He was a great player, right? Eric Coriel offense, one of the most legendary in the game. I can't remember who said it. I, I want to say it was Bob, but they said if you're team gets a nickname that's how you know you're pretty good like, yeah that's true the monsters of the midway the new york sack exchange air coriel greatest show on turf like those are all legendary players legendary teams in this case led by a legendary quarterback dan fouts 25 percent chance at that last powder blue jersey in the jerseys college should be hot today as well and specifically this double box break i know there are a lot of notre dame fans in general but there's a lot of notre dame fans that play in this break room there are still two full-size authentic Notre Dame lids out there in the final 12 boxes. It's a one in six chance one of those is going to get pulled. And you never know if they both get pulled and you're in this double, you'll win them both. The Jerome Bettis and the Tim Brown. And who knows, there might be some filler Notre Dames in there as well. Rocket Ismail, one that we see a lot. But either way, two full-size authentics of the guy that won the Heisman Trophy at wide receiver, Tim Brown, and one of the best running backs of all time and Jerome Bettis, who just wrote his autograph nice and big on this lid it's beautiful the one i want to see that's still out there and i kind of am surprised it's not a little bit of a chase is that eric dickerson chrome smu authentic never seen an smu helmet like that aesthetically talking it is the best helmet in the series just pure aesthetics great college running back and obviously holds the record for most rushing yards in a season in the pros that is no slouch and that's an incredible helmet to complement it the last headliner is a replica it is uh, Reggie Wayne, the Miami helmet up there in the top right. So you get that everything else spot, though. Three chances at a headliner. If you get the uh, ACC, let's see, I'm going to I'm gonna press you here, Steven. The ACC, because you can get Reggie Wayne and Jim Kelly, who's still out there. He gave me a thumbs up, you can't see. <laughs> but there it is. So lots of opportunities for double ups here in the college. This is only full-size helmets. $142 here in the double, one in six chance to win. Uh, the single is three to go. So that's going to be happening sooner rather than later. Speaking of happening sooner rather than later, three to go here in the double one and four. Your best odds per one spot of winning, 25%. Still over two headliners. Miguel Cabrera on the baseball bat. It is baseball season. Just makes sense. The most recent Triple Crown winner on the hitting side. And then we have Akeem Olajuwon, one of the most dominant physical big men in NBA history. Which, by the way, you can pair with one of our listed headliners, Gary Payton talk about defense uh as far as a perimeter defender it doesn't get much better than Gary Payton there he is I was like where the heck is he uh we also have a hockey headliner still out there Steve Iserman so four headliners left in the one and four in the final 14 boxes three to go in the double four to go in the single uh the practice squad is four to go guys that's the last break it is a true mixer as you can see from the graphic um, all of this is gone. This was the hot break all day today. It only makes sense. But I only point to the graphic to say there's jerseys. There's a Funko Pop. That's a mini helmet. You know, replicas, authentics. I don't know what's in that last box. There's only one way to find out. Paying that 48. And let's get that one closed and out of the room. Looks like jerseys just filled up. So we'll be doing that here in a second. Uh, the last break we have to talk about is the chase today. Already one spot into it. $49 a spot. Double box break every single time. In the mini helmets, we still have a Lunar Will Anderson out there. So, mini helmets should be hot today as well, I would think. Five boxes left, Will Anderson. If we finish up that mini series, by the way, there's also a mini series right on deck. So, that'll do. So, let's do a jersey.
We got a jersey and a baseball. Let's do a jersey and a baseball. 907 says, what's up, everyone? What's, what's up, up, Pat? With oh, Pat that's Rich. Pat. Yes, Pat Rich. What's up, Pat Rich? Heard he was having fun in the break room yesterday. Hope to have some fun tonight as well. Let's He's do it. in the diamonds and that one and four. So he Let's knows get what it, it's Pat. all about. He's also in this jersey series. Got the last three spots, Mr. Pat Rich. We got uh, Charla in here, Austin Lee, William Stefanelli, Algona, and Jerry Gentile. Let's go. Drop me a number four. Jersey number one. And who's Pat's team? Do you say? I think he's a Niners fan. Ooh, nice. Good time to be a Niners fan, and at Ultimate Autographs, it's always a good time because we see Niners a whole heck of a lot in this break. A whole room. lot, right? But hopefully he's just a fan of sweet memorabilia because that is definitely what we see all the time. Orioles game underway. You're going to have to like give me a heads up when it's... I'm sure I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. Because I know he's batting ninth, right? He's batting ninth. Niners rule. There you go. Yeah, a lot of Niners, man, in this break room. I'm sure Common already went over with you yesterday, but, you know, obviously Chris McCaffrey, Brock Purdy, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, uh, Fred Warner, and then all the legendary ones, Montana, Rice, you know, Patrick Willis, Navarro Bowman, and, uh, the, the list goes on and on with the 49ers. Uh, does anybody want to call a jersey box? Otherwise, the randomizer will decide. I think we've got less enough jerseys in here. Dan Vincenzo says, what's up, guys? Any headliners left in baseball? Yes, Dan. That is probably going to be our hot break today. I'm going to flash the graphic up of baseball, and if we don't get a box call by the time I'm done uh, showing Danny the headliners, we're just going to go to the randomizer. Wait, yes? Yeah. Now we are. <laughs> JJ said either way, get a scientist. I think we got it. Uh okay, cool. I think I think we're bumping again. You guys hear us? We weren't we weren't bumping at all a second ago. But interesting. Hooray, I'm not deaf. <laughs> Alright, sick. Hey, that is worth celebrating. I was telling yeah. Al if he wants to call another box, they're they're right here. 20, 21, 24, and 20, 28. Those are the four boxes we have. Good now. Perfect. Alright. I think we're just going to go to the randomizer. Okie dokie. Unless Al, like, puts one in right now, but... Okie dokie, not a jokey. 20, 21, 24, and 28, I believe. I believe you're correct. All right, cool. Here we go. It's going to be eight clicks. We'll just, uh... And hilariously, Al put in 28 after I put the randomizer up. And it landed on 28 anyway. Okay, so, so it all works out. That worked out. Yep, we got Al's box call and the randomizer one at 28, so that'll work. 28 it is. Best time of day. Kali, says Alex. Are you stealing Chelsea's nickname from me? What's up, Alex Dreyer? Best time of day uh, because it's Wednesday and you get to be with me and Steven? Or best time of day because there's a lot of baseball going on either way? It's also a lot of baseball going on in the break room, which is going to be our next break. It's also a good day because the White Sox might win two in a row. They might. 
That sounds crazy. They just might. All right, if this is Dan Fouts, it is going to William Stefanelli. 25% chance that is the case. Uh, Al's got the NFC North looking for some box collar mojo up there. There's Mr. Rich. He's got the NFC South and the NFC East. He's also got the AFC East. Charla has the NFC West. Jerry in the AFC North. Austin, he's been asking about this break. He is in the AFC South. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we go. He said, sorry, I meant to say it because baseball is live. Time to make call and guess the divisions. Ah, yeah. yeah. Fun times indeed. I did already get my football conference right. You did. College, He's one so. for one so far. Yeah, but we are going to see what happens on this next baseball break. We do have our last headliner here, the great oh. Dan Fouts. Ooh, Danny Fouts. Powder blue jersey, the best in the game, in my opinion, when it comes to just straight custom jerseys, you know, not putting stats on there or, you know, the ones where we've had the player on there before. Just straight custom jerseys, the powder blue chargers, the best one. William Stefanelli, one spot, taking it down. Nicely done on Dan Fouts. Nicely done on Dan Fouts. That right there is a really nice hit. Right? Anytime you get a quarterback, you should always uh, you should always cherish it, especially one that had such a great offense, high-profile quarterback in that system. And a great looking jersey. Not a lot of 14 quarterbacks, by the way. Quarterbacks that wear 14. That's true. That have been successful, especially. But Dan Fouts, he's one of them. Yeah, Alex, I don't know if you saw at the start of the show, but we're orange because of Jackson Holiday. And then I'm writing in orange, too, for, for Jackson Holiday. It's Jackson Holiday Day. My favorite thing I own right now, purple... Oh my gosh. Brock Kittle, Bosa, Ayuk McCaffrey, Samuel Warner. So it's signed by all those guys? Or you have all of them. That's a pretty sweet lid. Wow. That is a sick lid, yeah. Right? That's we're 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 keeping tabs on it kind of slowly because we know he's batting ninth. So we're trying to see. The, the only bet I had tonight is Jackson Holiday to get a hit and the Orioles to win that parlay. It's the only thing I'm looking at today. I don't know if they're going to win, but we'll see. I feel like Jackson Holiday's got to get a hit, though, right? His debut? He, yeah, you would think. He's too good. He's a holiday. He is a holiday. Today's a holiday in celebration of him. Those guys rake. All right. We got Reggie Tags, Craig Crenshaw, James Stanhope, J.J. Jones, and Phil B. in here. So this is our first baseball break. Baseball number one. 11 headliners left in 25 boxes in the baseball. Let's get it started. That is a sick lid, though. Mr. Rich. And all of those guys, by the way, we get in the break room. So you could have the lid, and then you can surround it with memorabilia from those guys. You know, have them all on one, and then have them on their own individual piece. Too many good options. Right? And then he's got to get, like, Steve Young, Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, because we get all those guys, too. Again, we get, that's probably one of the most popular teams we get, the 49ers. Right? I feel like it'd be sick. 28. Thank you, Reggie Tags. Going back to back 28. Isn't that the one we did in the jerseys? It was. See if it has the same kind of luck. All right. Baseball division's coming up. Good luck, guys. Eight clicks for six divisions. Thank you. You're welcome. Just take my marker. Take my marker. I guess they're all Robbie's markers, technically, but... I took one of Robbie's markers. <laughs> all right, we got 28 in the fastball baseball mixer series. Phil's got the AL East. JJ, the AL Central, and the AL West. James Stanhope, the NL East. Craig Crenshaw, the NL Central. And our edgy tags box collar mojo in the NL West. Here we go. What do we have in our first baseball? Probably be the first of many tonight if I had to guess. That's not a bat, because we 
got something here. Steven's in the other room, so I better I better get this right on my own. Here. Ooh. Right here. Who are you? I know I know the division of this one. I don't know the player though. We got oh. a pirate. Oh, looks like Dave Parker. It is Dave Parker. Look at you. Dave Parker. Dave Parker. That's a good hit right there. Yeah, Dave Parker. Pittsburgh Pirates. NL Central. Going to Craig Crenshaw. They were a part of the, uh, the late 80s, early 90s Pirates who were really, really good with him and Bonds. Yeah, that ain't bad. I think I have my time correct. Yeah, no, he, actually, his rookie year was 73, but he played till 1991. Yeah, he had a long career. He won an MVP there, uh, two World Series. He's a three-time Silver Slugger, two-time batting title, three-time Gold Glover, too, so he can play the field and hit. Boy, I'm going to say this. He should be in the Hall of Fame. It, it feels like it, right? Th these numbers are Hall of Fame. There's other guys who are in the Hall of Fame that... Have yeah, worse? That, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this guy should be in the Hall of Fame. This is pretty nice in there. I'm not going to take it out of the box. We'll just send it like this, obviously. But, yeah, I mean, he's a career 290 batter, too. It's not bad. I like that these come. I don't know if you've noticed this. But, like, they come with a little marker on them. They the do. Back. To autograph them? Yeah. Yeah, like, it's literally. These helmets are literally made to be autographed, which is hilarious. I don't think he used this pen, with that being said. But it is funny that that comes with it. I looks like the ink. Looks like the ink. Yeah, it could be. Maybe he did use it. I mean, he's got 2,700 hits, 340 home runs. Yeah, 40.1 career two, war. Two, yeah, that's really the big one. And a 290 batting average. Dave the Cobra Parker. Off the board. Craig MVP, Crenshaw. seven-time All-Star. Yeah. It's not bad. Nickname Cobra. And again, that's a filler here. So, if that's the floor, it's pretty good. Another gentleman with the middle name, Gene. Gene? D David Gene Parker. Is like, there an, is yeah, there like one? Randall Gene Moss. <laughs> what? It's the truth. I don't, I don't know about the name Gene, man. <laughs> just tell you. I don't know if I trust anybody with the name Gene. <laughs> just tell you the name of the gentleman. Okay. I'm waiting for one person with the name Gene the Dobbs full, in the chat. The, like, whoa. Full, the full name, man. It's his middle name. All right, that's fair. It's his middle name. It's his middle name. All right, so that baseball series now, guys. 24 boxes left with two, four, six, eight photoed headliners and three listed headliners. It is almost a 50% chance, an 11 in 24 chance with those three jerseys out there, the Acuna, the Mookie, and the Smoltz, the photo of CC Sabathia, the replica helmet of Vladimir Guerrero Sr., the two baseball bats, the big one, obviously, Ken Griffey Jr., Sammy Sosa still out there, and the Funko Pop of Pedro Martinez. So that's the series to attack, my friends. The next closest break, though, right now, three to go in that college single. Again, still looking for a lot of headliners. I mean, these are probably the two biggest breaks because there's 12 boxes left, five headliners, two full-size authentic Notre Dame blitz, Tim Brown and Jerome Bettis. The Chrome Eric Dickerson is still out there. That is my favorite helmet in the series outside of, you know, the one next to it, the Illinois one, but... Uh, Reggie Wayne also still out there, and then Jim Kelly in the listing. Five headliners still in that college series. Three to go. I will drop that into the break, or the chat, rather. Right there. Boom. Three to go, I think, in the one and four double as well. Uh, four to go in the last practice squad. Three to go. It should be three to go. Three to go in the last practice squad. Correct. Already four to go on the next baseball single. I'll also drop that into the chat. Both of those things are probably happening. Baseball kind of day. Obviously, we've been talking about it. The debut of Jackson Holiday, which is a big deal. He's the number one prospect in baseball. So, finally getting called up. The Orioles are just a nice young team. I mean, yep. Adley Rutschman's a stud. Gunnar Henderson's a stud. Um, and now Adley Rutschman, or Adley Rutschman, uh, Jackson Hall, they just added that. Not to mention, like, um, Santander has been great last year. He's off to a good start this year. They got Corbin Burns now pitching. That is why they were my preseason World Series pick. But Yeah, they're loaded from top to bottom. But can they just, you know, can they get the pitching? And Last year, the Rangers, you know, kind of debunked the – 
you need amazing pitching to win the World Series because they kind of just mashed everybody to sleep. Yeah, it's true. So if you have a fantastic offense, sometimes that just puts so much pressure on the other team that their offense goes away. <laughs> like that's uh, it's a hundred percent true. A hundred percent true. It's, it's kind of decimating. That's just what the in the Rangers lineup somehow only improved. They didn't really lose people. <laughs> They're in action tonight against the Athletics. Those two A's, um, who are three and one on the road oh, so far this year. But, three and one. Yeah, the Twins beat the Dodgers three to two. Mariners starting to put it together a little bit, getting a six one victory off of Cal Raleigh's two run homer. Uh, then the Diamondbacks over the Rockies, another young team that I like, because the Arizona Diamondbacks obviously they went to the World Series last year. A lot of fun to watch. Seven to one for the Giants over the Nationals, who are probably going to be struggling quite a bit this year if I had to guess. And uh, the Rays over the Angels, 4-2. to two. Randy Rosa Arena scores all the way from second on a wild pitch in that game. The uh, inside the park home run by Ellie De La Cruz with the other day was also incredible. He, I think, got around the bases in like 14 seconds or something like that. The guy is lightning fast. And he's like huge. You know, like the, the first time I heard of Ellie De La Cruz... You know, I was like, oh, yeah, like this fast guy, you know, whatever. And you'd see him, and he's, he's massive. I mean, he is tall. That guy could have played basketball if he wanted to. But he's a great player. What do you guys think? What is, what's your guys' World Series projections early on? Who do you like? Who do you not like? And players, too. Maybe the MVP conversation. Surprise MVP? Anybody? It's so easy to go. Ronald Acuna or right. Shohei Otani. Aaron Judge, yeah. yeah. Mookie Betts. Maybe somebody, yeah, that could be a surprise. We're two to go, by the way, in the one and four double now. Uh, three to go in the practice squad and three to go in the bat double, or excuse me, the baseball double. Alex said, I know it would be hard, but a top prospect baseball break would be awesome. It would be awesome. Steven would certainly love it. I would love it, too. Steven's been adamant about yeah. it. And last year we kind of had, like, that... It wasn't yeah. specifically a break in the top prospects, but we had a lot of top prospects in our yeah, breaks. Yeah, we, we, we were getting a mix. Yeah. Uh, where we kind of had a lot of the younger guys. You know, uh, Corbin Carroll, for example. We got a lot of Corbin Carroll um, last year and getting into this year. Oh, boy. <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow. I do want to thank David. I think you combined the two cards, right? But... Send me, send me a nice little care package of some football cards in here. Jackson Holiday is going to be batting next inning. Next inning? Yeah. I will go ahead and say, uh, if anybody wins a break today, because Steven did this to me, and I'm not happy about it. Speaking of Ellie, there's that man. There's that man, Ellie De La Cruz. Is it still in here? Did I already get rid of it? Ooh, JJ, that's actually really not a bad idea right there. Rising Star Four Sport Mixer with all prospects. Ooh, See, now that, yeah. now that would be sick. That would actually be awesome. Yeah. Uh, if anybody wants this, <laughs> let me know. As a White Sox fan, I absolutely hate this guy. And Steven gave it to me for some reason. I think for. Cause I knew you would love it. Yeah, I, I I hate it. I knew you would just love every second of it. Yeah. So. We do take a lot of your guys' suggestions, by the way. I mean, this is your guys' – we say it all the time. Your guys' break room as much as it's ours. So something like that, if you guys would be interested in a Rising Stars, uh, Four Sport Mixer or whatever, we could absolutely do that. I like that concept for sure. I think. And that would be easier to do too because, you know, we could get baseball rookies, football rookies, yeah. basketball rookies, but we don't have to get a whole load no, but of it's, them. But it's just Rising Stars. It doesn't have to be rookies. It doesn't even have to be rookies, It could yeah. be just guys Like Corbin like, Carroll could be in that series. It, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, plenty of baseball. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we got, like, Wemby in Wemby's there. Wemby's in there. <laughs> little Chet Holmgren. I'd mm -hmm. be all right Chet with that. Chet Holmgren. But, I mean, you could still put, like, Luca. I mean, he's a star, but he's, like, 23. <laughs> all right. It's not bad. Uh, how does this work? Sorry, Mo. Uh, he said, yo, how does this work? I've seen you guys on TikTok, and I don't understand how this one's working. Yeah, got you, Mo. So, we don't do TikTok, obviously. At least not right now. Um, so, we just are here in the break room. We're live on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, as you're seeing. So you actually have to go to a separate site. It's this one right here. I'm guessing he clicked on the link from our TikTok. Oh, maybe. Remember, that's on our profile. Well, regardless, here's the link again. That's, this is the page it should bring you to. Right. So you watch us live here. Have another, you know, on your phone or wherever else. Click that link. It takes you here. You can just also type in ultimateautographs.com. 
it'll take you here. Go to the live break section. Um, but this is everything we have. So basically all you have to do, pick a break that you like, pick something that's close, whatever you're trying to see. Let us know what your favorite team is, what kind of memorabilia you like. We can help point you in the right direction. But you just add it to cart, put as many spots as you want in there. You can put as many as you want uh, from any series as well. And once this gets to sold out, it'll say red and sold out. That is when we do the break. And uh, it'll happen live right here on this stream. And basically how all how it works is how this just happened. You get put into a different division. Whatever comes out in this case, it was an NL Central hit. Craig Crenshaw won with just one spot. Uh, the Ozzie Smith photo was hit, Pete. I think it got hit earlier today in that one and four. The last headliners in the one and four, there's actually four of them still. Uh, the Miguel Cabrera is still out there, the blonde baseball bat, and then the Akeem Olajuwon also still out there in the baseball series. And listed headliners, we have Gary Payton. We also have Steve Iserman for the hockey fans. I don't. Steven can check, though. What's up? What's going on? Uh, who hit the Ozzy Smith photo? Oh, let's take a look. Ozzy Smith, I think that was last show. Looks like Douglas Brown took home Ozzy Smith. And a Will Anderson Authentic. It's a nice double up there, Douglas. Uh, I hear what he's saying. Yeah, so it's random divisions, Mo, if you're still here. It's random divisions. So you don't get a pick. Like, there's no section that says pick NL East or AL East or, you know, NFC East, whatever. Uh, you just buy the spot, and then it comes in. Steven puts it in the list like this, where it's top to bottom. Reggie bought in first. Phil bought in last. Then we take those names to the randomizer. That's what this eight's for. We spun a dice at the beginning or rolled dice in the beginning and got this. We click it eight times, and it shoots out a list like that. And then whoever wins, wins. You know, whatever division. Yeah, we do out. random divisions here. Right. Yeah, no pick your team, no pick your division. Unless it's like a special occasion thing. We do it sometimes. We have pick your team sometimes. It's pick one, get three. Um, but we haven't really needed to. Yeah, we haven't used it in a while. We haven't used it in a while. That and the April Fool's set are my two best ideas. A series of weird autos on unique items. Yeah, that'd be great. We've wanted to do something for April Fool's before. The April Fool's is tough. Yeah, we, we've talked about... I mean, it doesn't even have to be a series necessarily, but, like, yeah. just doing something foolish on April Fool's, but... I see that AJ... Br yeah, dude, that thing was sick. I love the photo on it. I know you mentioned it, but the photo on it was amazing. All right, so who wants to close these out? Again, guys, looking at this, two to go on that double baseball. Two to go on the one and four double. Three to go on the college. Two to go on the practice squad. I mean, we are right there on a lot of breaks. Four to go in the college single. Let's get it. Headliner, a post signed t shirt in Schmedium. <laughs> Good God. There have been people that have legitimately been like, you guys, uh, you guys should do a series where like you all sign a helmet or whatever. Yeah. We're just like, no, nobody's going to want to actually play that. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Yeah. You guys are not going to Yeah, you're not you, gonna you would not, not be gonna thrilled. Money. No, not even that. Even if you didn't know it was in there, if you pulled it, you would not be thrilled. Right? You would not. If we're in the same series, it's like yeah. a Tom Brady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you get, yeah, you you get the not. UA team signed helmet instead, you're going to be like, uh, why? Would the break entry be a lot cheaper? Sure. <laughs> True. <laughs> Is it too early to purchase Pirates World Series tickets, Canyon says? Uh, yes. Yes. Don't think they're available for, for three years. For this season? Yeah, definitely not. If you ain't talking gorilla hoodies, no one wants to hear it. Man, we need... I, I still need to design my own. If we're not going to do it here, which I think that idea has come and gone. I think it's been gone. Yeah, but I, I want to design my own. You know, King Kong, right? Didn't they just have a Godzilla Kong movie that just came out? They have always have one of those. It just came out, though. I'm, I'm trying to bring J.J. J. Jones' idea of life over here. Oh, you're writing down the... I'm just trying to get you know an idea of names we could look for and or target. Closer magic in that baseball double, guys. Dropping the Lincoln right now. Who wants that last spot? 11 and 24 chance at a headliner. Griffey's still alive. Mookie's still alive. Ronald Acuna, Pedro Martinez, Sammy Sosa. Some massive, massive MLB names are still out there in that uh, double. Bush a bomb. Yes, sir. And we're all scored on it. Let's go. <laughs> I like that. 
He reached out an error, but we'll take it. So good question, Mo. Practice squad is actually one that is already pretty much come and gone. So we do three shows every single day. There are already two shows today at 12 and 3 p.m. This dropped during that noon show, and they got everything out here. There's oh, practice only... squad, that dropped last night. Oh, it dropped last night. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, there's only one box left, and we don't know what it is. All of the listed names, all of the photo names, those are all already been hit. This last one is a mystery, which is good and bad. It's good because, like, everybody's in the game, you know what I mean? You're going to get your division, and you could still win. But also, it's not going to be a photo headliner. But, yeah, we're actually kind of getting down to the end of a lot of our series. Jerseys, only four to go. Uh, three to go now, actually. No headliners left, but a brand new jersey series ready to go once that closes. Five to go in our minis with one headliner. Uh, that's Will Anderson. That's a double box break every time. That's what this chase means. If you just play in that mini helmet series, uh, you're automatically entered to win a chase wheel spin, which looks like this. And we spin it, and whatever that number lands on, you get a gift card in that number. Is Douglas Brown here by chance? Douglas, are you out there? Make sure it comes to life. Alex Dreyer gets a credit spot, too. He said something similar right about the same time. Did he say something similar? I don't remember if he did, but I'm sure he did. I'm, I'm sure he did, yeah. You guys always come up with ideas, so. That's a good one. I'd totally buy it. Oh, yeah, well, the top prospect thing. That's the what he's talking about, yeah. yeah. It's not a bad, listen, if we can make it happen, it's not a bad idea at all. Pat getting into that college single, so that's getting close. I think two to go now there. We are in the red zone or closer on a lot of series, guys. A lot of series. I mean, if you're looking at this break page, one here, two here, three here, two there. I mean, all over the place. So let's get it. Let's get it. I gotta get... They're not... Is Jackson all day up yet? He's up. Uh, he's on deck. Ah, uh, yes. There he is. There, everybody's waiting on the same thing. He is on deck. He's dialing a great number, too. What? He's wearing a great number, too. Seven? Yep. I know it's your favorite number. Yeah, absolutely. I like double seven. I like the Dan Fouts number. The Luka Doncic number? Nope. That's double seven. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not exactly. You're right, that. but you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're, we're both right and we're both wrong, but... <laughs> that was a misinterpretation on my end. What are you going to do? 77 in baseball. I guess that makes sense. Baseball is a wild place. It, they have a it, lot of different numbers. He's 81. Uh, I think he's 88. 88. Wow, that was a power, towering drive. All right, here we go. It is time for Jackson Holiday. Jackson Holiday, uh, first pitch first, bomb. First pitch bomb. First pitch bomb. bomb. Standing O. Oh, this guy's pumped. The young man steps yeah. up. Another guy that, yeah, I'm sure we're going to get Jackson Holiday in this break room at some point. I wonder how many of these tickets were purchased the moment they heard he was getting called up. I wonder how much the ticket prices went. went up, yeah. yeah. Right after. Guys, like, we're not going today. I'm selling these bad boys. First pitch is not a home run. Yeah. <laughs> But a good yeah. eye. But a good eye. Also almost got hit right yeah. in the chest. <laughs> that would be so bad. Like, he gets hit in the neck, and he's just, like, immediately on uh, the IR. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> he looks real comfortable up there for being literally 20 years old. He's <laughs> number one prospect in baseball for a reason. I think, like, the top, all the top five prospects are kids of former players. <laughs> Makes sense. They have a nice advantage. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Something going their way. All right, Ryan and Dries, what he get into? I think he closed out that baseball double. Let's go, Ryan. All right, baseball double coming up. Appreciate you, Mr. Andreessen. Only makes sense. Only makes sense. So that'll be coming up here in just a second, guys. And we will get it started. JJ, Craig, Alex Dreyer, Jack Sutter. Is, that, is he related to John Sutter? Jack Sutter? Maybe. Let me know. Chris Abermetz and Ryan Andreessen. Appreciate the close. Let's do it. Drop me two numbers for baseball double number one. First come, first serve. 2-2 two, two to Holiday. Big swing, big miss. Oh. Strikeout. 
his first at bat. Well, it's not easy. <laughs> this guy's going to bust. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is going to bust. <laughs> 12 and 26. I think he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Yeah. This guy's got Billy Bean written all over him. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you that picture of the... Uh... The Grand Slam. I was trying to find a meme of Billy Bean. Oh, God. My GM <laughs> prowess and fandom. Oh, Lord. 12 and what? Uh, 26. Called out by Mr. Dryer. Thank you, sir. Oh, you got eight clicks. Here we go. JJ down to Craig after six. Or eight, rather. JJ, AL East for you, Jack Sutter in the AL Central, Ryan Andreessen in the AL West, Alex Dryers in the NL East, Chris Abermetz, NL Central, and Craig Crenshaw, NL West. Here we go. 12 and 26 coming up. Josh Naylor card could be coming up. Let's go Griffey from Ryan. I'm guessing that would be an AL West hit then. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, 26 first, because that's what was on top. Boo, I want the AL West, says JJ. Um, how about AL East? Sorry. <laughs> Whoops. So, so sympathetic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, didn't think that was, you didn't think that sounded genuine? Nope. Oh, come on. You fooled you, boy. Yeah. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh. I like this hit because he is a World Series champion with the Chicago White Sox. Won a side bat of Jermaine Dye. Jermaine Dye coming out here in the breaks. I know he played other For Oakland, places. too. Oakland, yeah. How long? Well, he on. actually was longest as a Royal? A Royal. Oh, it doesn't matter. His two longest tenures are the Royals and White Sox. So, there you so go. it's going to be an AL Central hit, regardless. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so here it is. Beautiful. Jermaine Dye. Uh, AL Central, Jack Sutter. Related to John or not, he is getting himself a W here on Jermaine Dye. Key piece, by the way, to that World Series team in 2005 for the Chicago White Sox. He's a two-time All-Star, Silver Slugger. And he's such a key piece, he was the World Series MVP of that World Series for them, where one of the most dominant World Series of all time, by the way. I just want to put that out there. Just absolutely destroyed Houston. Um, it was great. 274 career hitter for him. And a good outfielder at that. Very nice. Let's go Padre, says Jeremy Leone. Okay. Okay. Are they? That's who the Cubs are playing, right? Yeah. They're so 42 now, the Padres. Oh, what happened? Kyle Hendrick is pitching. <laughs> I was more curious about, like, how they got up 4-2. Oh, a couple sack flies, but Kyle Hendricks is pitching. That's more the reason. He used to be good. Again, everyone has their time, but... His time's up. His time needs to be relegated to bullpen or pitching coach. Dang. <laughs> we, have lot, we have a lot of kids in the minors that are ready to play baseball. And he's taking up our spot. he's taking up our spot. So I like that hit. Here we go. This is 12. This one feels light, too. I'm guessing it's a baseball bat. You know, we have uh, one pretty good player out there on a baseball bat. Um, it's this one. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, wow. Bang. Closer magic. How long was that sitting at one spot? Ryan Andreessen. Ken Griffey Jr. That is pretty good, my friend. Pretty good, I would say. My favorite baseball player of all time. Steven's favorite baseball player of all time. I should have worn the shirt. The beautiful Louisville slugger here. Yeah, me too. I have, I have a jersey. A, I have a shirt that says that. That is nice, man. Ryan just said, you guys just made my year. Well, there you go. you go, man. Way to hop in at the right time and get yourself the kid. Wow. Yeah. Make sure you give a nice shout out to Alex Dreyer on that box collar mojo. Right? He should have been a unanimous Hall of Famer. Um, wasn't. Yeah. 
Don't know how, but regardless. Uh, an MVP in his time, 13 All-Stars for Ken Griffey Jr. Seven Silver Sluggers, obviously well-deserved Hall of Fame. You want to talk about career war? 83.8 for Ken Griffey Jr. 284 career hitter, 630 home runs, over 1,800 RBIs. This dude is incredible. White Sox legend number 17, that's right. I don't think that was his longest tenure <laughs> with, the, with the Chicago White Sox. Although he did, he was on the White Sox in 2008. Uh, let's see, how'd he do? He had 34 runs. He had 18 RBIs. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty on good. On the way down. Thank you for the Box 12 pick from Ryan, right? Hiding in the goat box. Ken Griffey Jr. Would you believe that the Naylor brothers both went yard against the White Sox? <laughs> And I'm, I'm, I'm special national, to you. On National <laughs> Siblings Day. I hate them. <laughs> you can have this Josh Naylor card, too. We're throwing it in for free. Congratulations on Ken Griffey Jr. and Josh Naylor. <laughs> this guy, Josh Naylor. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> he did go yard today. God. I wish I had his home run derby challenge card i would have absolutely cashed it out on any day they played the white Sox. yeah yeah it's not bad calling it a night on that good luck everyone from ryan he, he just he's a bandit bro came in here got himself that w and dipped that's how you do it congrats ryan that baseball series though 22 boxes left still 10 headliners left steven including the best player in the mlb today in Mookie Betts, or excuse me, uh, Ronald Acuna. Yeah, Mookie Ronald, Betts. Mookie's really good too, though. Top five, absolutely. Top five in Mookie. Got CC Sabathia. We got Pedro Martinez. We still got John Smoltz. Talk about three great pitcher pitchers out there. Sammy Sosa still as well. Let's let's take a look at this again. In this baseball series, all the jerseys: Mookie Betts, Ronald Acuna Jr., and John Smoltz. Vladimir Guerrero, senior on that helmet. The Pedro Martinez Funko Pop. Uh, we're also still looking for CC Sabathia on the photo. And we've got Sammy Sosa on the bat. Ten headliners, 22 boxes, almost 50%. And honestly, the filler hits have been pretty good so far. I'd say so. I mean, I love that Jermaine die. But, you know, King Griffey Jr. I think we already had our hit of the show. Yeah. I mean, it all puns around. Hit of the show, absolutely. We have, I think, three breaks right now that are two to go. If you're looking at this, two to go in that one and four double, two to go in the college single, and two to go in the practice squad. I think all three of these will probably be coming up next again. No headliners left in the practice squad. One box remaining to close out that series. Two spots in the one and four we are still looking for. Miguel Cabrera. We are still looking for Akeem Elijahwan. We're also still looking for, uh, where'd they go? Gary Payton and Steve Iserman. In the college, a lot left as well. Tim Brown and Jerome Bettis, both full-size authentics. You can get in that everything else spot, as well as that Eric Dickerson on the SMU Chrome. We've also got the Reggie Wayne Miami replica helmet and Jim Kelly. Five headliners here in the college with 12 boxes remaining. Siblings Avante and Deontay twins played for Southern Illinois. Avante is going to Columbine this year. My nephews. Wow. Mm. Okay. Very cool. Are you from the area? Illinois, me? Or did they just pick SIU? That's pretty awesome. Congratulations on that, man. Avante and Deontay. What are their what are their last names? I wonder if I can find them. I'm not sure if I just type in Avante. Deontay in the SIU. Avante Cox. This guy. Do football or that Cox. is him, yeah, Avante Cox. Him. Yeah. There it is. Look at this. Hope you don't mind me showing him, but here he is, Avante Cox. Look at that, a million dollar smile by your nephew. 
Alaska? <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. We've traveled a great distance to get down here. Alaska's a haul. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> that is different. And then we got... We got Deontay Cox. Live in Arizona now. That is just so different. You go from Alaska to Arizona. It's either it's either or with this guy. That's for sure. Well, they're from Rochester, at least according to the website. Now the website. I, I'm gonna go more to the source. I think my man Rich here though. He's balling. Yeah. He's out here living his best life. Sick. Well, good for them, man. Good luck to the nephews going forward. Three to go in the baseball signal. So we got three breaks that are two to go and one that's three to go. Should have four breaks coming up here uh, very, very soon. But Ken Griffey Jr. Glad to have the kid back in the break room. It's been too long, honestly. It has been too long. It's been too long. Anytime we get him. I literally just saw, like, he's doing a signing uh, here soon. And, like, to get a bat autograph, it's like $600. Yeah. And that's, like, before you even get the bat. So... For one spot, Ryan Andreessen in that double, that was that was worth it. That's a deal. That was certainly a deal. Certainly a deal. I paid more for the box to get that Josh Naylor card. Than six hundred dollars? Or $90? no, the four forty five? Oh, for the single. For the single, yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah, he got this for ninety dollars. That's what happens at Ultimate Autographs. That's what happens at Ultimate Autographs. All the time. Even if you're like, eh, I don't know about baseball, we are six to go. In that diamond double, which again is the best bang for your buck because it is only full size authentic helmets. We mention this a lot. Authentic helmets are already a couple hundred dollars unsigned. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you just want, you know, a cool looking helmet to have in your man cave that isn't signed, it's going to cost you a couple hundred dollars. In this case, we're talking about some of the best players in the game, past and present, that you can get for. In the double, $180, and in the single, only 90 and we still have a speed flex out there of Aaron Donald. Speed flexes are going to run you a few hundred dollars, and then you get one of the best defensive players in the history of the game. We're upwards of, you know, four digits, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Not to mention Kenneth Walker, Will Anderson, and Jim Kelly. This is the best bang for your buck, $180 here in that double box break for the Diamonds. I guess I'll leave him here for now. We have the the this is a roll. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. This I'm not rolling yet. Yeah, but then I needed it to write. <laughs> Once you're done. Once you're done, we got our boy Saya up to the plate with runners on first and second, two down, and trailing four to two. Could be a big RBI opportunity for us. Let's go, Saya. Extend our. I'm, I'm guessing our lead. Yeah, we are winning. We're, we're actually up a decent amount right now. That's what and we, we haven't had a lot of pitching yet, which That's is good. That's what we do. So, but we're, rela we're relentless. I'm going to keep Josh Naylor here. I want somebody to say I want the Josh Naylor card. <laughs> I don't know if Before I, gonna... I just pawn it off to somebody else. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to fuck that. Nobody wants Josh Naylor. Why wouldn't they? Nobody. Bueller. <laughs> Sir. All right. So what are we going to do next? Like you said, we're on the cusp on so many different breaks. Yeah, we're actually, there's four breaks that are two to go now. The one and four doubles, two to go. The college single is two to go. The practice squad is two to go. And the baseball series is two to go, the single. Four breaks, two to go. Let's make it happen, folks. Let's make it happen. It's only 657. Right. Only so much to do across the board still in all those breaks. Minus the practice squad, but you know, for forty eight dollars for a chance at potentially a full size lid or even like a great looking mini, whatever else, still worth it. Shout out to everybody that's been with us here since the six o'clock hour, JJ Jones, Pat Rich. Phil B, Steve Jaggers, Reggie Tags, Alex Dreyer, Jack Sutter, Chris Abramets, Ryan Andreessen, Larry Jensen. Appreciate all you guys in here playing the breaks, hanging out with us tonight on a Wednesday. Got baseball going on, hockey, basketball, and ultimate autographs. Tomorrow, 
a big day if you're a golf fan. That's the biggest true. day of the year. Masters. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Masters picks, guys. Who do you think is going to do well in the Masters? I don't know if I should say. Tiger. I hope Tiger does very well. We all, I think everyone hopes he does well. Yeah, it's good for golf, and it's just fun for the fans when Tiger does well. Especially uh, when it's been a while, while. It has been a while, while. He hasn't just, not just a while in the Masters. He hasn't played professional golf in a while, while. Yeah. Um, I can't wait to watch Charlie, though. Can't wait to pick Charlie in the Masters. He didn't make the cut in his first, like, not PGA event, but, like, qualifying things or whatever. He's, like, 14. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even make the cut. That, it's like Jackson Holiday. You know, he's a bust already. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously, Scotty Scheffler. Oh, child. Scotty Scheffler is the favorite going in, I would think. Clear-cut favorite. Guy's been getting top tens like it's nobody's business over the last year and a half. But the defending champion's going to be there. All the live guys are going to be there. John Rahm. See what happens. First of all, I was taking a complete guess at his age, and he is 14 years old. Can you guess what his net worth is? His net worth should be like five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm guessing it's not, it's, since you're asking me about it. That's one it. number. <laughs> that's one number. Is it more... Tell me the truth. <laughs> is it more than... Six digits. Yes. <laughs> so stupid. Isn't it's he? more than six digits? This kid is worth millions? A million? 25 of them. <laughs> it's not even seven digits. <laughs> He's worth $25 million? Allegedly. <laughs> All right, let's do this last practice squad. Oh, my God. Twenty-five million dollars? What has he done? <laughs> he was, he won he won a race. I'm having trouble purchasing. You keep saying your payment details couldn't be verified. Check your card details and try again. I already called my bank and they said it's not them. Any suggestions? Let me let me look here and see if you're in this abandoned checkout. I do see you I do see one of his orders in the abandoned checkout. That's from fifteen minutes ago. What does it say? So this is what it says on our end. It says your street address and your postal code don't match your card. So make sure, I think on your account, yeah, exactly what Sergeant Boyd's is saying, address. Make sure on your account, it's the same as it is on your American, or whatever card you're using. And then it should work. Or call Charlie Woods. Or call Charlie Woods, yeah. <laughs> he'll make an account, and he'll take care of that for you, because he can certainly afford it. When was it? Oh, he's 15, sorry, but... Oh, well, that makes sense that he's worth that. Yeah, now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, now. It all ages up. <laughs> it said the same thing to me. Make sure the billing address is different. There you go. All right, so last practice squad coming up, right? Here yep, last practice go. squad. Larry Jensen, Roderick Agmarta, Craig Higgins, Steve Jaggers, Jack Sutter, Brian Boyd, and Steven Zimmerman. Here we go. I don't need a number. It's box one. Is it box one? <laughs> I guess it's box one. All right, well. Obviously, David Griffin did not play in this practice. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> clearly. Eight clicks. No headliners left. No listed headliners left. Any division could be the division for this last practice squad. We got Craig in the NFC North. We got Brian in the NFC South. Craig again in the NFC East. Jack Sutter already won today. He's in the NFC West. Roderick Agmada, AFC North. Steve Jaggers, AFC South. Steven Zimmerman, AFC East. And Larry Jensen, AFC West. The last practice squad on the line here, as well as potentially a Josh Naylor card if somebody wants it. <laughs> Somebody's taking this thing. Someone please get off my man's hands. It's like, a, I feel like one of those... People at like a grocery store that's like got the free samples, but then I'm like, yeah, can you, can you gonna buy a bag? Like, let me tell you about the product. I'm like, nobody cares, man. We just want the sample. Yep, exactly. <laughs> it's a mini helmet to close the series. Any guesses? Teams or players? Uh, the Steelers, and that's my guess. You're wrong. Yeah, I mean, should have said Tremaine Edmonds for the Bears. Oh, <laughs> I should have. Should have said Tremaine Edmonds for the Bears. It is Tremaine Edmonds, the great young linebacker, NFC North.
Craig Hagen. Two spot in the break, making it happen. Actually just met Tremaine Edmonds the other day at the Chicago Fire game. He was out there signing autographs. And you and I both agree, my man just has some luscious dreadlocks. <laughs> they are incredible. Uh, yeah, very cool. Says, yup, thanks. I'm guessing, oh no, he fixed it. That's getting that going. Yeah, he, got, he just got into the one of four single. Love it. It's working. It is working, Mr. Rich. Craig, congratulations. Well, let me know if you want a Josh Nabler card. <laughs> I'm just going to read a card of someone you hate every Wednesday. <laughs> just so you can try and pawn it off on someone. Sergeant Boyd said my son said he wants it. If you get in a break and you win, my man, it is all yours. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think Matt would like it if I just like Shoot. grabbed a bubble mailer yeah. and shipped it to him. <laughs> But I put it on the table. Whoever wins a break and says, I want it I'm first. I'm guessing that's Brian Boyd, right? Yeah. Oh, so he was in the break. Yeah. <laughs> it almost happened. Keep playing, Mr. Boyd. Because nothing would make me happier than to get rid of this Josh Naylor card. But otherwise, he'll be here next Monday doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, this and thing. Or, somebody or, is taking this card. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here. Someone is taking this card. It's like bringing one of those, what is it, voodoo dolls? Yeah. Like, I can't have that in my house, you know? <laughs> it's going to haunt my house. All right, so two to go in the one and four double, two to go in the study up single, three to go now in the one and four single, two to go in the baseball bat series. Let's spice it up, Steven. You know I like to get spicy sometimes. Sometimes. Are you a heat guy, just in general? Like, spicy food? Spicy food. Oh, I love spicy food. Temperature, like, we're talking, uh, like, hot sauce stuff, or, like, spicy pepper? You know what I'm, I mean, you know like, what I'm trying to there's, ask? There's such a thing as too hot? Like, a te like Indian spice is what I'm saying. Yeah, I like you know, Indian like, you know, spice. We're talking yeah. curry that gets spicy. Yeah. And then, like, chicken wings that are spicy. Too. Oh, yeah, of course. I like that. Yeah. How spicy are we talking? Um. Like, if you were at Buffalo Wild Wings, because that's universal. Caribbean jerk. I don't know where that is on the list. Go look it up. I probably will. Anyway. <laughs> Asian Zing's my by far my favorite, though. I had a... I don't know if they still have the... It was like Mango Habanero. Mango Habanero's good, too. Man, that's good. It's a little too hot. Yeah. Me, but the flavor's really good. Anyway. <laughs> well, that was me. a quick sidetrack. <laughs> yeah, that was a very much a sidetrack. <laughs> Any breaks done by 8 p.m. Starting now. Starting now, everybody. Now until 8 o'clock p.m., we will give the wheel spin to anybody that plays in breaks from 7.06 to 8 p.m. And it could be 8 p.m. plus. Again, this is what I usually do. We have, we've only had it happen once. But if we're still ripping past 8, 8 p.m., rather, and uh, a break fills up, we'll keep going until we are caught up. So everybody that gets in is into the breaks. Oh, here we go. Did you find this online? Yeah. What did you type in? Oh, it's, I sent you to via Slack. Yeah, I know, but I was trying to show it on the... Oh, I just typed in on Google. Buffalo Wild Wings Sauce Scale. Buffalo Wild Wings Sauce Scale. <laughs> this is what we've come to right now. <laughs> I like that this, one. Yeah, yeah, I like this one better. All right, here we go. Where, where are you guys on the sauce scale? See, Asian Zing's my favorite because it's just like a, more of a perfect Boy, balance. Mango habanero is way yeah. up there. But like, hot barbecue is like a really nice balance. I don't know if I've ever had hot barbecue. I get usually like my go-to is medium and sweet. I was like, I like Parmesan garlic and uh, Asian Zing. I don't know if I've ever had Asian Zing. Either. Asian Zing is fire. I might have to try that it's out. It's the greatest sauce I've ever met. Why is it? It's from Brazil, but it's Asian Zing. I don't. Where does it say it's from Brazil? I don't know. What's with all the countries on the left i have no idea oh the tweet now that now that we're in the knockout stage we paired our hottest sauces with what we think are the hottest teams oh in the um oh the world cup i'm guessing the world cup yeah oh, okay this is in 2018 okay so the right side is the most important side bourbon honey mustard sounds kind of good that does sound fire but where's sauce garden or sauce on that list mix the sweet and the teriyaki i'm not really a teriyaki guy like, it's good, but, like, I'm just kind of meh. Sweet and teriyaki, JJ, that's, like, that's that's the bottom of the scale. 
Some people aren't hot. You don't like to get hot with it? You don't like cumin? Alright. We do have a baseball single. That is pre that is ready for you. Love it. Fastball number two. Steve Jaggers, Reggie Tags, Larry Jensen, Alex Dreyer, Dan Scapetta with two spots. There's the closer spots. Appreciate you, my friend. Drop me a number four. Baseball number two. The kid is on the table, off the table when it comes to the series, but Mookie, Ronald Acuna, Pedro Martinez, Sammy Sosa, Vlad Sr. God, I want to go home and play MLB The Show. <laughs> <laughs> All still out there. I've been trying to play online, man. I just get too heated. I just get so mad. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to do this. It's not even worth it. I haven't even gotten to play in like three weeks. A guy hit a home run on a pitch that was going to hit the dirt. I need, I need Luca to become like six years old so I can just sit there and we can be like, it's time to learn. <laughs> no, you need him to be like three years old where he's got enough concept of like what a video game is. Yeah. But you can give him a controller and he thinks he's playing. Oh, no, I'll give him the Switch. Oh, yeah, you can just... Yeah, you just play on the Switch. You can yeah, just you get can his... just sit there and... Yeah, it's all about that. developing the hand-eye coordination. <laughs> You're getting it early. That's yeah. exactly what I'm all about. 21. 21. Everything we do is with purpose. Thank you, Reggie. <laughs> the hand-eye coordination. <laughs> He's going to be playing on our 2K team here soon. He's the future superstar as we grow old into our role-player selves. Yeah, right? <laughs> when we're the Vince Carters of the world. <laughs> all right, eight clicks. Here we go, guys. 21, right? 21. Thank you. Oh. It just like clicked by itself. No, oh, no. Whatever. That's... Got to eight. It does that's say... Alarming. It does say you've randomized the list eight times. It must have not registered a click or something and then registered it late. All right. Let me... Let me size this real quick. You can see it a little better. The only whole problem with this con is I have to buy two PS6s now. I have the budget for that. That's true. <laughs> you should actually, start now. <laughs> actually, I might be able to save up for, you know, because every PlayStation cycle is six years long. So, the next one comes out, it'll be a seven. Then I think it'll be the PS7. Just give That's him, fine. Give him the PS5. No, I'm thinking ages three through uh, six, we're going to start N64, PS1. Oh, you know, wow, you're going to go. Yeah, we're going to... He needs to learn the grassroots, okay? Yeah, right. He's not going to just walk in you appreciate the to PS5 graphics. <laughs> like, yeah, let's he's he's got to play Goldeneye on the 64. Exactly. And... We have all those games. We're ready for them. All right, Dan's got the AL East, Steve in the AL Central, Larry the AL West, Alex and AL East, Dan Scapetta and AL Central, Reggie Tags and AL West. 21. 21. The piece of paper was folded. I was like, this is literally an empty box. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see, but this is what I saw. Like, just nothing. Oh, my God. And it was up on the side. Ooh, how about a Gary Sheffield signed bat? Oh, that's not bad. That ain't bad at all. That is not bad at all. I believe this is a Yankee hit, right? Uh, it could be a variety of hits. It's not a Yankee hit. I was going to say, give me a variety of hits. He played for a lot of different teams. It's a Florida Marlin hit. Ah! Oh, God. Florida Marlins. Okay, where do the Yankees play? They play in the same division? No. They don't? No. Then why'd you ask me where the Yankees play? Because it's the opposite. And at least. Yes. Alex Dreyer. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Sheffield. There you go, Alex. You know, one of these times when, we're, when we have a little more downtime, we might just have to have a breakdown session right here on the air with him. I'm just going to quiz it. No, not even going to quiz it. We're just going to give you some pointers to help you remember everything. Okay. It's just a lot easier because you can, you can break it down and be well off. Can you get me the Gary Sheffield bat? No, <laughs> I'm trying to help you remember these divisions. I'm trying to show Alex his bat. Where's Gary Sheffield? Gary Sheffield played a long time. 1988 to 2009. A very great career. My man spanned... What, three decades? The 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. Yeah, that's true. Almost made it to the 2010s. This is a nice Rawlings black bat here on Gary Sheffield. Nine-time All-Star. He won a World Series in 97. Boy, almost almost right away. Actually, that's not true. Like, nine years into his career. Batting title for him as well. 60.5 career war. He's in the 500 home run club. You better when you play that long. But what's really impressive, he played that long, and he's a career 292 hitter. That's yeah, pretty good. 292 is legit. 292 is very legit. And recently he dropped this video. Oh, God. That, that's just fantastic. 
Is that him hitting dingers? With a cigar in the mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I open this in? You just gotta copy the link yeah, and put it in here. Yep. Just a great video. Look at this. Just. <laughs> Just Look hitting, at this man. Just hitting bombs. Smoking cigars and hitting bombs. That's who you just won, Alex. Look at this. Bing. Quick puff. Quick puff. Out there in the cold, just doing, taking care of business. Nice hit, man. Good fillers, again. All the fillers in the series so far have been really good. Also. Oh, no. no. I don't want that video. Also, I'll say. Sorry, I want to. So his son Noah, he's a baseball player. He's obviously going to get drafted, um, as all the juniors do. As, as all the juniors do, and as they should. By the way, it seems to be a really successful recipe. Um, he had a walk off home run in high school, and just how did I? Is that from TikTok? I don't want to be from. There we go. That's what I wanted. I will say with this series too. Before we look at this, yeah, um, I think there's 21 boxes now. And ten of them are headliners. Still yeah, with exactly. Mookie, still with Ronald Acuna, still with Sammy Sosa, CeCe Sabathia, Pedro Martinez. I mean, we got excellent hits all around. This baseball series should not be slowing down. It should be speeding up, if anything. Right. This one is JSA certified, by the way, on Gary Sheffield. What's Gary Sheffield's son's name? Uh, Noah. Noah, that's right. You said that. Noah Sheffield. He's not a junior, so I've got less faith, but... Yeah, that's another kid in the minors. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what we're talking about. I think he has. He does have a kid, but this is his other kid. He's got two kids. Yeah, just look at the. And they're both gonna be baseball players. Well, look at the stance and look at the form. Look at the stance. Woof. (laughs) Boy, he just ripped that. Did you see how quick that state or that swing was? Yeah, dude. Look how quick this swing is. Bang. (laughs) (laughs) That's what you need, man. Yeah. That's the, like, that's the recipe of a good hitter. If you got a quick, compact swing that is powerful, you're you're in it. Right. So that was a walk-off home to send the team to the regional finals. But I, is his son, Gary Sheffield Jr., a pitcher? I know he does have a junior. Gary Sheffield Jr. <laughs> Why is the first picture that pop up? I think it's John Carlos Stanton. Yeah, that's not accurate. He plays... Who? What He's team? a relief pitcher. Who is this? Who is that? Arizona Christian? Maybe. Apparently. Anyway, let me, let me look here. So, four to go on the baseball I guess Gary double Sheffield. box break. I'm confused. Okay, never mind. We're actually kind of sneaking up on a lot of breaks. Again, guys, we are doing any breaks done by eight. It's going to be a part of a wheel spin. Haven't done a top-to-bottom rundown in a second. Let's go ahead and do one real fast and reset this break page. There's the link if you guys want to play in the breaks. This is where you go. And you're going to see throughout this, like, almost everything is starting to get legs. So wherever you guys want to go, we can go. And this baseball series is certainly one where we should be going. All of the jerseys are still there. Again, including the two best players, potentially, in the MLB right now. I mean, you could argue that is number one and number two. Ronald Acuna Jr. and Mookie Betts. Regardless, they are two of the top players, two incredible players. Mookie Betts playing a lot of second base so far, which is kind of interesting. He can play a lot of different places. Yeah, he's been making plays over there, too. I mean, the guy's just an athlete. Fun to watch on the baseball field, as is Ronald Acuna Jr., both still there on some sick jerseys. The Acuna Jr., by the way, you can double up with that John Smoltz. What's up, Gabe Cook says, howdy, everyone. What's up, man? Good to have you in. Hendricks won't survive the All-Star break at this point, says Alex. No, nope, he shouldn't either. Vladimir Guerrero Sr., a guy that has already done all of his work in the MLB and had one incredible career, another fun player to watch on a beautiful Angels custom helmet, or rep helmet, rather. Pedro Martinez, small pitcher, but my God, he was mighty. You could argue he had the best stretch maybe a pitcher's ever had in MLB history. Guys, one of the best of all time on a beautiful Funko Pop here. I love Funko Pops, personally. Uh, CC Sabathia, speaking of dominant lefties, big CC out there, still available as well. Uh, let's get it, guys. Three jerseys, one replica helmet, one 
uh, Funko Pop and one photo. That is six photo headliners left in 21 boxes. We're also still looking for Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor, and Jim Palmer. So two, four, six. It's actually seven that are still left. And then three listed headliners. That is a 10 and 21 chance here in the baseball series. One to go in that double. Six to go in the college double. This one is surprising that it's still six to go. Because in the college double, you can win two Notre Dame helmets or an Eric Dickerson helmet in that everything else spot. Tim Brown's still out there. Jerome Bettis still out there. And Eric Dickerson all still available in this college series. We also have a Reggie Wayne replica helmet that can still be doubled up with a Jim Kelly that's in this series. Six headliners here, 15 boxes, excuse me, only 12 boxes left. Let's go get that five and 12 chance at a headliner in the college. Six to go in the single or doubles, two to go in the single for just 71. Six to go in the diamond double, one headliner left in this photo, but it's a speed flex. It's Aaron Donald, one of the best defensive tackles to ever play the game with that beautiful yellow visor. We're also looking for Kenneth Walker III, Will Anderson, and Jim Kelly. Four headliners still out there in the diamonds, and there are only nine boxes left. It's almost 50%. Sold out on that uh, double, so that'll be coming up next. Two to go in the double box break for the one and four, guys. Still looking for Miguel Cabrera and Hakeem Olajuwon, a triple crown winner, one of the best hitters of our generation. And Hakeem Olajuwon, just a powerful, powerful center in NBA history. We're also looking for one of the best perimeter defenders. Actually, in my opinion, he is the best perimeter defender of all time. Gary Payton and then Steve Eiserman still out there as well. One hockey legend. There are 14 one and fours left, four headliners left. Let's go get it. Eight to go in the jerseys. There's only three jerseys left. We have pulled all the headliners, but again, $27. You can get yourself a nice signed jersey. Five to go in the uh, baseball single. Six to go in the minis. This is our actual chase. So if you want to get into that, that's what I would recommend. $49. Will Anderson still here with five mini helmets left. So let's keep it rolling, guys. Starting with a baseball double. Only makes sense. Very nice hit, Ryan, from Blake, right? Out of this series, man. The kid. The kid. Ken Griffey Jr. It doesn't get much better for that. For me. I don't know. Like, if we're talking <laughs> about a dream baseball piece, this is probably it. I mean, Ryan said we made his year with this. Creme de la creme right there. Absolutely. I mean... Mookie Betts and Ronald Acuna Jr. both still have a lot of career left. They're off to incredible starts. Who knows where it ends up, you know? They might be among uh, baseball royalty when it's all said and done. Pete Jenkinson, J.J. Jones, Chris Abermetz, and Braden Glendy. Drop me two numbers for baseball double number two. Holiday grounded into a fielder's choice, but he's on first right now. His first time reaching first base. Yeah. He needs a hit, though. It's probably They're what, what they are they in? Is it cruising? Uh, top five. Don't get another bat, but yeah, you might only get one though. If the Orioles' offense can play up to its, this guy Cutter Crawford though has been just shredding. Yeah, he is just. Oh, he took off. He did steal it, but it was a walk. So, <laughs> I like. Yeah, it was a walk. So now there's two on, with uh. Well, they need some runs because I got him winning too. Is it one out? Yep, one out. Andy Rutschman to the dish. Ooh, that's a good guy to have at the dish. Box calls from anybody. Otherwise, uh, we'll let the randomizer decide. Well, the Cubs are going to lose this one. That's unfortunate. Can't win them all. No, nope, you cannot. Oh, God, it's 3 nothing Boston. Yeah, they need some runs. A little tire up would be good. Adley Rutschman bomb. Looks like the wheel's going to decide this one, Steven. Yeah, but uh, the pitcher for the... Uh the Red Sox. Again, I have a lot of his rookie guard because the dying cards from every year. But um, he has like a point eight ERA in his first two starts. Jesus, just mowing. Tattoo Tyrant said, "If anyone had some Texans gear, DM me. You should get in those mini helmets." Will Anderson is still there with only five boxes. Will Anderson also in the diamond helmets with only nine boxes. If you want them on a full size authentic. That is where you should go for some Texans gear. We've been getting more and more of it here recently at Ultimate Autographs. Uh, 1 and 13, by the way. Pete did get in there before the randomizer went up, so we will do 1 and 13. 
Let's go ahead and click this eight times. Just make sure I didn't do a ghost click again. So for this one, Braden, you are in the AL East. Chris is in the AL Central. JJ in the AL West. NL East for Pete Jenkinson. NL Central for JJ Jones. And Pete Jenkinson in the NL West. 1 and 13 coming up. Let's get it. After this break, I'm guessing we'll probably run it back at some point again. But two to go in the one and four double, two to go in the college single. Both of those have been a long time, that being two to go. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't think any of these boxes are going to be particularly heavy. Maybe the Vlad with the uh, with the replica helmet might be a little heavy. Let's start with box one. Box one is pretty good. As far as the NL was concerned last season, it's as good as it got. Oh my gosh. Ronald Acuna Jr. Beautiful red Braves custom jersey. Absolutely love the hit. Going to the NL East. Pete Jenkinson. Box collar mojo. Hitting Ronald Acuna Jr. That is how you do that, my man. That is exactly how you do that. That is beautiful. Really, really nice on Ronald Acuna. He says, there we go, right? Kept the consistency playing in there. He got the, uh, he actually got the starter magic here for Pete. Let's look at Ronald Acuna, shall we? Let's look at the man himself. The MVP of last year. And, uh, I mean, what a year he had, honestly. Led the league in runs. Led the league in hits. Led the league in stolen bases with 73 of them by the way. Uh, four already this season for Ronald Acuna Jr. 12 runs, 10 hits. Uh, yeah, he's going to pick up right where he left off. He's actually been an all-star every single year of his career, but two. And he only played 46 games in one of those. I was saying it was year he wasn't healthy. <laughs> yeah. He only played 46 games in one of those, and the other one uh, was his rookie year. So yeah, He rookie. also won rookie of the year that they year. Don't, they, so. don't, they don't do rookies too well. Not bad, man. Not bad at all on Ronald Acuna Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. and Ronald Acuna Jr. are two best hits so far. Yep. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good start. Now we got to add Mookie to the club. Could be right here. Could be as early as right here. Got to fold up a Ronald, but keep him next to you. And get Pete written up real quick. Pete's trying to double up, though. He wants to see John Smokes here. Yeah, John Smoltz. Uh, I don't know. Who wants to see John Smoltz? That's fair. Just really quick. <laughs> Wait, where's John? You did the second box? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not to yet. Could be. Mookie, John, Tony, I'll take any. I think we did pull Tony already. Tony Gwynn. Yeah, I don't see Tony Gwynn out there. Yeah, I think he got pulled in the early show. What's this in here? I don't think this is going to be John Smoltz. I think it's a baseball bat. I think it's Jose Canseco on the baseball bat. Jose Canseco. Not a bad hit right there. Also a long career for Mr. Canseco. And uh, I believe I was about to say most of it with Oakland, which is definitely going to be a West. Of the NL? AL. Yeah. JJ! I should have known when Pete said, ah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Context clues. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he's even got the inscription on there, Jose Canseco. The chemist. <laughs> the chemist, he Jose Canseco. <laughs> wow. There you go, man. JJ getting on the board with Jose Canseco. Two World Series for him, Rookie of the Year, also an MVP, four-time Silver Slugger, six-time All-Star. Maybe, uh... Maybe Cooperstown bound if there weren't, you know, the whole chemist thing. 
involved. <laughs> <laughs> if the big name wasn't a thing. Yeah, you know, if you didn't do that thing that this is referencing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a lot of good years. 85 to 2001. Also played in three different decades from La Habana, Cuba. Mr. Jose Canseco. So there you go. Nice hit, man. One headliner, one filler. Down to 19 boxes here in the baseball with nine headliners. Still almost 50%. Keep it rolling. All these guys getting into wheel spins for now. Uh, it's only 7.30, so still got 30 minutes to go for that any breaks done by 8 p.m. Which one did that? Was it all of our breaks that we're doing? Uh, from, it would have been, I think, the first baseball single to... This double. What is everyone Dan bought? The one everyone Dan closed? I think that's. Uh... Yeah, so it's only these last two baseball breaks uh, okay. so far. Alright, I'll get that list compiled. Gabe said, got a spot in a college helmet break. There you go, Gabe. I mean, he put that to one away, so that should be happening here relatively soon. Gabe, who is your team, by the way? College or pro? Curious to know. But, I know yeah. Gabe's a Bengal fan for pros. Oh, yeah? Yep. He, he bought in late, late last night. I gotcha. Bangles. A lot of bangles come in this break room. And he doubled up today with the Tony Dorsett and Michael Vick. <laughs> okay, Gabe, I see you. So Gabe's cooking. He's cooking early here in his break room career. Oh, Ohio State Buckeye. That's cool. We got those guys coming through. Yeah, we got a lot of Ohio State. I don't know if there's any in this photo, but we do get a lot of them. Could be some fillers in there, you never know. But, uh, yeah, one to go now in that college. You know, these people, by the way, will get their name in. Actually, it's only the single. One to go in the single. Anybody in the doubles, like that double bat we just did, they get their name in times two for the chase wheel spin. So make it happen, folks. And would you look at that. 5-5 five, five in the White Sox game. Yeah. They're real bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no use of you winning games, so. How'd our pitcher do? I'm guessing not good. Eric Fetty? Eric Fetty Wob? No, our fantasy pitcher, who's Tyler Beebe. 4.16 hits, 5 earned runs, 3 walks. Not great. He pitched for the Indians? Yeah. The Guardians, sorry. The Guardians, yeah. But he, uh,. He's, a, he's on our fantasy team. That's okay. Our offense will have to carry us. Other Chicago team. Uh, the Blackhawks currently playing the Blues. Down 4-0 to in the first period. Mm. Halfway through the first period, they're losing 4 nothing already. That is tough. awful. That is <laughs> tough. They are in full tank mode. Been shouting, sharing y'all out since I won. Few buddies gonna hop, hopefully be joining me and checking this out eventually. I like it, man. Cool. Appreciate it's a lot of fun to play in the breaks. It's even more fun, I think, to play with people that, like, you know. Like, mm -hmm. you get that immediate gratification of, like, rubbing it in when you win. Having little friendly competitions or whatever else. And, uh, you know, I, I've always thought, like, you and me, for example, if we could play in the breaks, which we can't, which was, makes sense. You know, ethically. Oh, no, ethically, sure. that makes sense. But if we were hypothetically just customers and there were two other you know, nobody sitting here in the seats. Uh, if there was, like, a bear item that was really cool and an eagle item that was really cool, we could play together Yeah. and try to, like, even if I win, now I could give you the bear item, and if you win, you give me the eagle item. Two spots. Right, exactly. A piece, get, right? Get, yeah. yeah, a spot apiece, and now you have a two and eight chance of winning per spot, essentially. And you got Tony Orsett and Michael Vick, which were just fillers in... The diamonds. That's the power of that that's series. That's just that's uh, the that series is nuts. It always is. It always is. Who is this guy? Jake Laravia. He's having a game, ain't he? He is having a game. Jake Laravia of the Some Memphis book. Grizzlies, twenty-four points and six boards. Not too bad. <laughs> Outscoring Donovan Mitchell of Cleveland. So who wants that last spot, guys? I'll go ahead and drop it in there. One to go in the college single. 
Remember what happened last time when it was one to go in the bat or the baseball series? Mm -hmm. And Ryan jumped in and got Ken Griffey Jr.? Don't miss out. If you are sitting there thinking, I don't know, maybe I'll get in the next one, you just never know when something big is going to come out. And the same goes for that college series where there are a lot of headliners left, five of them, with only 12 boxes left, almost 50%. But that's going to happen. Swingman Bat, Ken Griffey Jr. It's just beautiful. Being a great player. All-timer. Oh, yeah. 630 home runs, and he got hurt. <laughs> like, imagine if he didn't get hurt, and he was able to be healthy. Yeah. In his career. God, who knows? Who knows how far it could have went? I mean, when I think of... It's kind of funny, because when I think of five-tool baseball players, the first person I think of is Ken Griffey Jr. And then when you're like, well, what about a current player? The next player I think of is Ronald Acuna Jr. Yeah. We've got, in my opinion, the best five-tool player of all time and the best five-tool player in baseball today, both on the desk. Yep. Now, with that being said, another guy I would say is Mookie Betts, who is still out there. I mean, Mookie Betts is not only a five-tool player, he's almost like a, like a seven-position player. That should be a tool. I mean, if you can play five plus positions, that's a tool. Like there, there should be six tools in the tool chest. Yeah, I mean, he, clearly he can play infield. He can play anywhere in the outfield. God, give him catcher's gear. He I might mean, be able to, to go be back fair there. to these two guys. They only play the outfield. Yeah, Mookie's like wherever you need me to play, I'm here. He literally steps up to the plate. Mookie Betts still out there. That Dodgers custom jersey. The helmet's still there too. I mean. I don't know. I, I don't know how many helmets are in this series, but baseball helmets, getting them signed are sick. I know we had one mini earlier, uh, the Pirates one. Pedro Martinez, Funko, again, I don't know how many of those are in the series. That's still out there. CeCe Sabathia. Still got some amazing headliners, not to mention Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor, and Jim Palmer, all as listed headliners. True, don't hesitate. I missed the chase helmet. It was the break before I got my spot. See, it happens, man. And the closer magic is real, too. Again, this 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 break, that last spot was just sitting there for probably, you know, three or four minutes before Ryan closed it. And, uh, yeah, he ended up getting the bat that, quote, his quote, made his year. And we're well into the year. And we're well into the year. We're in April already. I was thinking about that. I was thinking on the way, like, to work today about, like, a... Like, what, what should my, like, yearly goal be or whatever? And I'm like, I probably should have already decided this because it's <laughs> April already. Should have been getting into the gym today. That was a goal of mine recently. Um, <laughs> decisions last night changed that. So. Clearly. It was a fun night, though. I'm glad you had fun. Fun weekend coming up for, A, golf fans, because it's the Masters, but uh, UFC fans, UFC 300. Every time it's, like... Like, UFC 100 was a massive event. UFC 200 was a massive event. So UFC 300 is like, you know, they try to put together. They're just going chronal numerical order. Yeah. So okay. the next one's going to be 301, 302, yeah. How many events? Do they have 52 events a year? 50? Mm, I, well, 45? If you're talking about pay-per-views, like where they have the number, yeah, it's usually like 12 to 13, I think. Okay. They, they usually have about one a month. So it happens every like four or five. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, so what's the big big draw this weekend? Uh, the main event is um, Alex Perea, the light heavyweight champion facing Jamal Hill, who had to vacate the belt. Why? He got hurt. <sighs> Did he got hurt? I think he got hurt playing basketball, which is what's funny. Like, it, it wasn't even... That could have been us today. Yeah, I, I could have I had crutches today. <laughs> I got hurt playing basketball. I, could have I my, probably would. I could have my leg elevated right here on the desk. I would have been humbled, definitely. I would have been like, wow, I'm really out of shape. Who knows? How, I don't think many people were going to be there. I ran up and down the court once, and I'm out of shape. Oh, that, that's a fact for everybody. I can't do that. I can barely do that anymore. You gotta jog. You gotta pace yourself. You gotta pace yourself. It's important. Know your limits. So pack out into the double college. So put that four to go. That's the smart move in the college, even though the single is one away. But in that double, again, you can get both the Notre Dame lids, Tim Brown and Jerome Bettis, or Eric Dickerson. 
all in that everything else spot. The Reggie Wayne would be an ACC hit, but you compare that with Jim Kelly, two Miami hits both still out there. Four headliners in the final 12 boxes. Five headliners, excuse me. Four photoed, one listed. Make it happen. Don't and hesitate. Tristan Cassis just made it 5 nothing. 5 nothing in Boston. That's a guy who we also had for prospects in the bat, in the bat series mm-hmm. last year. That dude's going to be a stud. He is a stud already. I drafted him in uh, my other fantasy league. I'm pretty sure he's cooling on the bench today. Which is not great. No. Not a good look. Yeah, especially since you did that. Waiting for Paul Skeens to get out there. This is why you never bumped. <laughs> what? <laughs> Trivia, how many players have played all nine positions in a single MLB game, if any? I think it has happened. Is that Jason Kendall? I don't, know. I don't know how many players. I just know. I think Jason Kendall has. Or he no, he batted in all nine spots. Craig Biggio. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. That's why you don't bunt. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I used to bunt all the time in college or college in high school. I was not a very good hitter. Straight up, not well, you're a pitcher. Hitter. Yeah, I was a pitcher, but I mean, I still was. I was in high hitting school. Hitting was never my my like, strength. We were still we were still hitting. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was a very good bunter. I was left handed. and I would do the like little run up drag bunt, and I could mm. put that boy right down third baseline. And I was fast enough at the time that you know they're not going to get me out at that point. Andrew. Five players so far have played all nine defensive positions in one MLB baseball game. Bert Campanaris on September eighth, nineteen sixty five. Cesar Tovar. September 22nd, 1968. Scott Sheldon, September 6th, 2000. Shane Halter, October 1st, 2000. And Andrew Romine, September 30th, 2017. Wow, I would have thought I'd remember any of these. Romine, I remember that one, but... I don't remember any of them. I also don't know any of these names. <laughs> <laughs> but that is interesting. Good trivia. It's good trivia like, night. They're just like, we're fine. We we need a body. Please. Please play. Yeah, literally anywhere. <laughs> you ever catch before? All right, ever, Moneyball. They're they're doing the, um, they're talking to Scotty Hatterberg. Yeah. And he's just like, Ron here. Well, we're talking to Ron Washington, the guy playing him. He's like, Let's teach you how to play first. It's super easy. It's incredibly <laughs> hard. <laughs> it's incredibly difficult. See, <laughs> so we'll teach you. Yeah, he said, like, uh, something about the fans, too. And he's like, yeah, maybe you could teach one of them to play. <laughs> <laughs> the sassy manager, uh, Ron Washington. Burt Campanaris, six time All Star, three time World Series champion, a career 259 batter, uh, almost 80 home runs, 79. 646 RBIs. Long career. That, How many years did he play? A long career. Jeez. 64 to 81. Dang. And then he came back in 83 for a little bit, too. a boy. Uh, his full name is... <laughs> Dagoberto Campanaris. Da- Dagoberto. Dagoberto. That's how I wanted to autograph it. Dagoberto? Absolutely. He's the cousin of Jose Cardinal, who played for the Cubs ah, at okay. one point in his career. That's fair. One spot? Nobody wants one spot here in this college series? Nobody wants a full-size, authentic Eric Dickerson chrome helmet? Agreed. Nobody wants a chance at this Josh Naylor card? What does the Notre Dame fan say? JJ, you want a Josh Naylor card? Yeah, I don't know. Usually we have a lot of Notre Dame fans in the chat, but so far, not much. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? That's These are the questions. All right, the White Sox do have runners at the corners. Nobody out. The Cubs are getting absolutely dumpster. What's it now? Nine to two. Yeah, that sounds about accurate. Speaking of getting dumpster, the Astros... 
This is like backwards from where I thought the series would be at this point. Like the Astros are four and eight, and the Royals are seven and four. <sighs> the Royals have been exceeding expectations. They're pretty good. Now they're just starting, obviously. So have the Pirates, remember? Yeah. Early World Series tickets. Go grab them. Pirates, Royals. That would be a real wild, wild. Yeah, we would not have some, been seen that one coming. Right. Where the... Is is our boy about to come back up? At uh, any point? He, Cedric Mullins is up. So, is he a six-hitter? Yeah, he's a six-hitter. Six, seven, eight, yeah, okay. Oh, they're only in the six now, though. He might he might get two at-bats. Two more at-bats. Get him up here for a grand slam. Do what? Get him up here for a grand slam and he'll tie the game. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I need that to happen, too. <laughs> they need to win, too. All right, Heather. Heather Livingston, close out that college single. There you go, Heather. That'll do. So 15, well, actually 16 minutes total, guys, until uh, that chase wheel spin is going to be closed. Keep it going. We still have breaks that are right on the doorstep, including that one and four double. Well, that's still pretty close. Uh, two to go. This baseball series should just keep being hot, and this college series should keep being hot as well. Boy, what a nightmare for me. We got college and baseball in the room. Don't worry. I'm here for you, buddy. Thank God. All right. That's ready for you there. Matthew Orozco, Pat Rich, Larry Jensen, Pat Rich, Gabriel Cook. Gabriel? Get that up. I think it's Gabriel, right, because it's Gabe. And then Heather Livingston. Drop me a number four. Study up number one. Oh, right, well, what the heck get up now? Oh my god, I've seen the ball roll away like three times. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> Always been a Cedric Mullins fan. I think I have a, I think I have a patch auto of his. He had that one year a few years ago. He was insane in MLB The Show. I got him in my fantasy team that year, too. Oh, the year he's really good. His mm -hmm. all-star year, yeah. He's got a glitchy MLB The Show swing. Box number, anybody? Heather. What's up, Heather? She says 23. 23 in the college. That'll work. The Jordan box coming up. Jump man, jump man, jump man, jump man. Ooh, 23. Gabe also wanted 23. Well, that works out splendidly. Yeah, it does. All right, here we go. Splendid. Splendid, splendid. This is our first full-size helmet, I think. I think you're correct. It's we had the one nuts. practice squad, that was a mini, and then, yeah, the rest of them baseball. Here we go. Two runs in for the Orioles. Start the comeback, kids. When their offense is just, it can easily come back from 5 nothing. Oh, yeah. Here's 23. We got Pat Rich in the Big Ten and the Big 12. Gabe, Gabriel in the ACC. Matthew Orozco in the Pac-12. Heather Livingston, SCC. And then Larry Jensen in that everything else spot. A lot of big names in that everything else spot. Eric Dickerson, Jerome Bettis, and Tim Brown. Here we go. ACC, by the way, for Gabe looking for Reggie Wayne or Jim Kelly. Do have a full size authentic. Ah, it's the one I wanted to see, Steven. It is on the beautiful, oh, get out of here, red chrome of oh SMU. Gosh. The great Eric Dickerson. Look at this bad boy right here, man. That thing is sick. Sheesh. One full size lid coming out, and it's a banger, let me tell you. It is a banger. Eric Dickerson. The Pony Express is here. The Hall of Fame inscription on it. That is going to everything else spot. Larry Jensen. That's a nice album right That's there. That's a really nice album. Fire, one could even say. One could even say. Larry. I mean, can't say enough good things about Eric Dickerson. In a lot of ways, he's an underrated running back. You know, we always talk about the greatest running backs of all time. Nobody really mentions Eric Dickerson, who literally has the most rushing yards right. in a single season. 
He is the record holder. <laughs> and nobody can catch it. All these guys we talk about. You know, LaDainian Tomlinson, Adrian Peterson, Walter Payton. Nobody has more than Eric Dickerson. So that's a 4-11 chance at a headliner in the college. And there's two double possibilities for headliners, let alone what's in the series. Right. Reggie Wayne and Jim Kelly in that ACC. And then Jerome Bettis, Tim Brown in the independent everything else spot there. All right, he's up with... Uh, next season ACC says Bob. That is important yep. to note. Mm -hmm. We are doing current college uh, conferences, which they haven't officially switched over anyway. But uh, once they do, obviously we will keep up with the times. But for now, this is an everything else hit for Larry Jensen. Beautiful lid. Congrats, Larry. Congrats, Larry. Well, I think he got his first RBI. Didn't get a hit, though. Didn't get a hit, though. But he'll be up again. Top six with one out, so. He almost outran that. Yeah, I know. He, pretty, dude, pretty close. man, I'm not worried about him. He's just got to get, he's, it's just so different. I think Dustin Rose is going to win something. <laughs> <laughs> I have an inkling suspicion. Dustin, let me know, my friend, on two box numbers. He's going to get a lot of spots into that Chase Wheels. Dustin's too. taking a shot. Uh, do you just want to do? Just do one number, yeah. Let's do the three. He wants 16 and 23. All right, cool. Just heard a noise over there, and it was a late reaction by me, because I'm like, wait, we're the only ones here. <laughs> what What's going on? It says, good evening, fellas. Good evening to you, my friend. It has been a good evening so far. Some great hits. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Ronald Acuna Jr., Eric Dickerson, the top ones right now. But Mookie Betts still out there. Pedro Martinez still out there. CC still out there. A lot of great stuff here in the college. Uh, excuse me, the baseball series. I think you picked the right break. So we know he's going to win. Let's just see what we're going to win. Uh, what, what are the numbers? 16 and 20? 16 and 23. 23 was pretty good in college. That was the Eric Dickerson. <laughs> Let's see what it is here. And guys, nine minutes until that wheel spin offer closes. So I would recommend this break right here. The one and four double is two to go. There's the link to that. If you want to get into that wheel spin, if you want a chance at that Miggy, that is a good one to go to. Three to go in the one and four single too. If you'd rather do that, five to go in the baseball single, six to go in the mini helmets. These are both for Dustin. Starting with 23, because that's what was on top. Good luck, man. Good luck. Ken started rolling, and I got very scared. What started happening? Ken Griffey Jr. started rolling, uh, and I got scared. He's got a mind of his own. Let's start dusting off with a headliner CC Sabathia. A nice signed photo there. I threw the piece of paper on accident. <laughs> For Big CC Sabathia, the big lefty, man. I nice. love these photos. These, like, grayscale photos. Right, yeah, Three, you mentioned it. 3,000 Ks. Wow. That's a lot. So there's a lot of Ks. Yeah, look at this thing. There's kind of a good version of it here. Let me see. If, oh, yeah, you can see it. That is beautiful, man. That is beautiful. 3,000 K club for CC Sabathia. He's a Cy Young winner. He's an ALCS MVP. 2009 World Series uh, champion, six-time All-Star for him. 3.74 career ERA, 251 wins, and a 62.3 war. And, uh, yeah, 3,093 strikeouts to go along with it for Big C. That is nice. Love that hit for you, Dustin. Good start, I'd say. Could get another pitcher here if we see... Pedro Martinez. This is nice, too, because I don't even have to say the divisions. Although it is good practice, I guess. Hey, at least. Next. Williams, a nice poll. Congrats, Dustin. What's up, Mr. Maynard? Good to see you tonight. He's not done. He's going to get another good poll here in box 16. A 
I think this is a helmet. Is it the helmet though? Oh, it is! The helmet! Vladimir Guerrero Sr. That's a nice hit right wow. there. Wow. Wow. You come in and you buy out the whole double, and he gets two headliners to reward himself for it. That is sick. You did well on that one, Dustin. I would say, man. I would say that is beautiful. Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Can't say enough good things about him. He's one of my favorite players to watch growing up. 1996, his rookie year, played until 2011. MVP season one year, nine-time All-Star, eight Silver Sluggers, and a Hall of Fame career to go along with it. He's a home run derby champion. I think his son is too now. Vladdy or Vlad the Impaler? 2,590 hits, 449 home runs, a career 318 hitter Ugh. for Vladimir Guerrero Sr. That's a real solid batting average. That is real solid. Very nice break. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, man. Nice call on your end there. And I believe it's ALS? Yes, for the Angels. You are correct. I got both right. All right. Well, that works for him. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Dustin, let me ask you this. Do you want a little Josh Naylor card thrown in there <laughs> to go along with it? <laughs> I can I can give you a Josh Naylor card. <laughs> it just, it's up to you, but if you want it, it's it's all you. Could add, you know, just saying, you could have, you have three now for the price of two. As far as hits. Four to go in the college double. Two to go in the one and four double. Three to go in the one and four single. Five to go in the baseball single, six to go in the minis. He said, oh, well, sure, yes, I got rid of the baby. All right, that's coming to you. It's going to be in the Vlad, uh, Vlad Senior box. Thank God. Oh, wow, look. Steven's going to give me a top loader. That was nice of him. Of course. Got to keep it protected. This thing's already kind of messed up, actually, but I don't know if I did that or what, but not that it really matters, <laughs> but... I wouldn't grade this card if I was you. <laughs> Unless you want to have a bad grading for whatever reason. Do you think anybody ever sends things in as, like, a joke? To, like, let's just see, like, what the worst grading you can get is on a card. Yeah, I think I saw one. This guy, like, put a marker all over it. He just did work to it. Not a good idea on his end. Right. <laughs> They'll just be like, we can't even give this a one. All right. These are all your hits. Look at you. Oh, God, the card fell. Sorry. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Williams and Cicero Joe will give you an 11 grade. No problem. No problem. <laughs> no hesitation. That's why I always go to him. Yeah, it's a... Uh, see right there? Oh, it's a little nicked, yeah. A little nicked. Again, not that it matters, but... Boom! In your box! Three-minute warning here, guys, as far as the boxes done by 8 o'clock. Let's keep it going. Wherever we want to go next, might uh, reset the break page again really fast. Haven't done a top to bottom in a hot minute. Obviously, got people going in and out. Got things that are getting pulled that you might have missed, like uh, two headliners in that baseball series, for example. So let's talk about the baseball series. Just did another double. I think we're down to 17 boxes now. Is that right? Sounds accurate. We still have four photoed headliners, and one of them is Mookie Betts. So that's pretty good. One of them is one of the best Cub players of all time, Sammy Sosa. is also a White Sox legend. True that. I don't know about a legend, but he did play for the White Sox. Uh, Sammy Sosa is still out there, one of the best home run hitters of all time, one of the best pitchers of all time, and Pedro Martinez also still available. And then the John Smoltz jersey still out there. Four photo headliners in 17 boxes. Throw in three more listed headliners, though. And Paul Molitor, Billy Wagner, and Jim Palmer. That is a 7-17 seven and 17 chance right now at a headliner in the double box break. The odds were really good when Dustin jumped in and he took advantage of it. So that's what you got to do in some of these breaks. The break right now to do that in might be this college series where we are down to now 11 boxes. Four headliners left. And double-up opportunities with Jerome Bettis and Tim Brown, both full-size authentics, both still available in that everything-else spot. 
And we have Reggie Wayne on the Eclipse replica helmet with the Jim Kelly still out there as well. That can be paired up. ACC. Would love to get a diamond done. We are only down to nine boxes, single digits in the diamonds with a speed flex still out there. That is insane. Aaron Donald Lunar Speed Flex with the yellow visor still available. The black clips to go along with it. Great looking lid there. Three listed headliners, Kenneth Walker III, Will Anderson, and Jim Kelly. Four headliners left in the last nine diamond boxes. Full-size authentics guaranteed in the diamonds. Six in the double, eight in the single. This is probably the break. If we can get it close, maybe we can fill it up here before the timeline. Two to go in the one and four double. Miguel Cabrera, I mean, at this point, Probably, even if it was in the baseball series, would be one of the biggest hits left. He is definitely one of the biggest hits left in the 1-4. and four. Triple crown winner, one of the best hitters of our generation. Hakeem Olajuwon on the basketball, also still out there. Love the Wilson basketball and the big old autograph of Hakeem. We still have Gary Payton. That can be doubled up in this break, by the way, with Hakeem Olajuwon. And Steve Eiserman. This is our favorite break in the room, pound for pound, the 1-4, and four, just because... It's a variety of stuff. You just never know what you're going to get and what's going to come out of that series. Three to go now in that double college break, by the way. So that could happen here very soon. Six to go in the college single. Three in the one and four single, if we want to try to get that. Got a spot off in the jerseys as well. Seven to go there. Not even going to click into it because there are no photoed headliners or listed headliners left. Three boxes to go. Guaranteed jersey coming out that is autographed eight to go in the diamond single five to go in the baseball single and then six to go in the minis this is going to be the only chase left now to get into that wheel spin uh one headliner left will anderson but it's a mini double box break every single time here so you get to call two numbers uh 40 percent chance will anderson's going to come out in that very next break uh once we close this series same with the jerseys Brand new mini helmet series on deck and a brand new jersey series on deck. If we can get either one of those closed tonight. But it has been a baseball kind of night with a little Eric Dickerson sprinkled in. Oh, that chrome helmet's so sick. It is sick. And uh, we could get some Notre Dame stuff out here as well very soon. So I'm guessing that college double's probably the break that's going to go down next. It is three away. So we're going to get rid of this part. Hiya. Now it is just the minis. All in the same wheel spin, by the way. And that list is ready for you. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, yeah, we'll do that. Get out of here. Maybe get somebody to want to try to get into some other breaks. Here we go. This is every break we did from about 7.05 to 8. Let's go. I hit the wrong button. Give me a second. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. A lot of Dustin Rose right at the very end. Who's going to get it? Eight clicks, top spot, getting the wheel. And eight. It's actually Braden Glendy. He actually had the top two spots. Boy, that was meant to be. There you go, Braden. Braden Glendy. I'm going to do a wheel spin one time where it's going to be two winners. It's going to be like who's ever in the first spot and the last spot. But for now, it's just going to be the first spot. So, Braden, if you're out there, let me know. The wheel is yours. Did we redesign this? Why are the numbers huge now? I have no idea. <laughs> you're seeing what I'm seeing, right? I mean, I don't know what was redesigned in the last 24 hours because I was here literally last night. And it looked Actually, I don't even know how it looked. I thought it looked the same. Oh, we can... Whoa! <laughs> All right, there's there are options here. Let's put it like that. Looks pretty nice. What's this do? All right, I'm done with that. Brayden, are you out there? Let me know. It looked a little too big to me. And you can change the style of it too. My goodness, there's a lot you can do. You can shuffle it. What's advanced mode? God, you can do so much stuff with this wheel. 
Here I am thinking it's just just some dumb wheel it's that just goes some one to a hundred. Basic wheel. <laughs> this ain't your basic wheel, y'all. I think we're gonna start on one. I have not heard from Braden tonight. Here we go. Wheel is spinning. Wheel is landing. It's pretty good. How about eighty-six bucks? All right, Brandon. Braden. Braden. Braden Glendy. Braden Glendy. Eighty-six dollars. That's gonna be a nice surprise. Yeah, right. He's gonna be like, "Where'd that come from?" You partaking in the the little chase? That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. That's why you play. I don't think Braden won anything. But, uh, I mean, he got some money back, so... I did not have him, but yeah, he got... At the end of the day. Back. At the end of the day, it ain't bad. So, guys, 804, what else do we want to get into tonight? I gotta imagine that college double is gonna be going down. That's only three spots to go. I think that's four, two spots to go. It's only two spots to go. Again, the double up possibilities are pretty impressive because we're still looking for the Tim Brown and the uh, Jerome Bettis, two full-size authentics, and then the G Jim Kelly and the Reggie Wayne, both still out there as well. Put the, put the bat up here. Let's see our baseball hits today. Show off that goodie. I mean, right now, that's... Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> that scared me. Yeah. Baseball. All due respect since, to Eric Dickerson. Since Eric Dickerson came out two days late, God, yeah. he had a shot. He had a shot. Uh, Common did not like that idea. I thought it was no. a great idea. No. The he story knows. of Eric Dickerson. Yeah. Well, the story of any player. Right? Yeah, it doesn't have to be Eric Dickerson. Yeah, and they're going to be in the hit video. Yeah, he's, all right, he's definitely going to get another at bat. Oh, yeah. He's 0 for 3 with an RBI, right? Yeah. Come on, Jackson. The world is waiting. I'm going to change the color if he doesn't get a hit. To what? I don't know. Black? Yeah, I'm turning it off. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be a color. Man, do you, uh, Vlad Jr., Vlad Sr. hit 318 for his career? That's what I'm saying. That's pretty silly. 318. Yeah. How, many, how many hits? Uh, 2,590. <laughs> How many home runs? Four something? 449. Right, because, like, if, what, I think the benchmarker is, like, 2,600 hits. Like, it's, you know, you don't have to have 2,600 hits, but if you get 2,600 hits, you're like, okay, there's a shot I have, I'm going to be in the Hall of Fame. Because that means you're probably a good enough hitter with a good amount of at bats yeah. to get there. But you just add in this power, too. Yeah, well, and the fact that, you know, he, he won an MVP. <laughs> he says, at any time, Silver Slugger, all sorts of good stuff. Like, Barry Bonds doesn't have 3,000 hits. He's got a lot of home runs. He has 2,935 hits. <laughs> yeah, that guy sucks. <laughs> I don't even want more stairway for you, though. I don't care. <laughs> it feels like people are caring less and less, which is probably a good thing overall. I, I love going on Barry Bonds's baseball reference and just looking at the bold numbers that are just all over the place. Have we had Barry in the break room? I think we have. We have had him one time. And you can all blame Jeff Kent. Okay, ladies and gentlemen? What'd he do? Jeff Kent, I believe... Hold on, where is it? All-time leader in home runs, all-time leader in walks, and all-time leader not even in close. intentional walks. It's not even close. Alright, in 2000, can you, are you on Barry Bonds' 2000 season? 2000. What did he do in 2000? 2000. Uh, 129 runs, 147 hits, 28 doubles, 4 triples, 49 home runs, 106 RBIs, 117 walks, 11 stolen bases. Okay. What did he finish in the MVP that year? Second. Second behind his teammate, Jeff Kent, who hit 334. With 33 home runs and 125 RBIs. Oh. And then Barry's like, well, F this. I'm going to take... Because I think Jeff Kent got popped, too. So he started roiding after that? And um, if you can see, if it's the following four seasons, where did he <laughs> place in the MVP? Um, I'm seeing MVP 1, MVP 1, <laughs> MVP 1, 
and then MVP. That's what won. that's what I think happened. I think he got salty and he got pissed and he's like, I'm just gonna do this, and he just went on and a four just, year tear, yeah. unlike anything we have ever seen before. The leader in, in slugging and OPS <laughs> and OPS plus and yeah, a lot of good things. Because in 2001, that's when he hit 73 home runs. In 2002, by the way, he was a 370 hitter. <laughs> He batted 370. His on base percentage was 582. It's just dummy. <laughs> it's beyond silly. It, it is some of the things you're just like, good God. I mean, they they literally they literally gave up a run before. Like, wa- I can't remember who it was. It was the Diamondbacks. Yeah, they was- walked him and gave up a run because they're like, he's only if we don't walk him, he's gonna give up four runs. Yeah, so, exactly. Like that is. Just, and then the next guy lined out, so it played out super nice. Yeah, but it's like, actually just an incredible coaching decision. You think you'd never want to give up yeah. a run, unless you got Barry Bonds taking <laughs> the plate, and potentially you're gonna give up four runs. Give up one or give up the game. <laughs> yeah, right. Like this is gonna get out of hand if we don't walk him. Yeah. And they just intentionally said go. Well, they just because back then you threw the pitches, right? They're like they're gonna intentionally walk them. Everyone's like, are you crazy? I'm like, no. That's just no. how you know you have severe power. They literally don't mind that you and are getting you, an extra run. Yeah. Because they would rather that happen than even though, chance you hit believe it or not, like pitchers, they said they'd rather face like Barry Bonds than like Tony Gwynn. Really? Yeah. Because again, Barry Bonds obviously significant more power. Probably went you know hitting for more. Hitting more for the fences. Tony Gwynn was just literally trying to stay alive and just make contact every Whoa. single time. He was really good at that. And he was really good at that. And Tony Gwynn was in the space. He was. Series. Speaking of another guy that just makes a ton of contact, Mookie Betts, yeah. still in that series. A guy that hits a lot of home runs. Sammy Sosa still in that series. Pedro Martinez and John Smoltz, guys that would like chances. You know, step up to the plate. Well, for them, stepping up on the mound to face these guys at the plate. I think a Pedro Martinez versus Mookie Betts battle would be fun to watch. I think that's what makes Mo- Pedro Martinez one of the best pitchers of all time, is just the era he went through and how dominant he was in that era. Dominant. Dominant. I mean, that's the right word, the only way to put it. I can't get on the breaks page for some reason. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so, like, I can't, I can't even show this graphic off if I wanted to currently. What happened to UA? Oh. Uh, type it's just not even type, yeah no, it's, oh that's cool yeah that's super helpful maybe if I do it in here whoops okay aggressive maybe that's the way to do it though huh okay Orioles are down 5-4 bases loaded one out now you just need him to get a hit uh, Cubs are finally put out of their misery. <laughs> <laughs> what about the White Sox? The White Sox did score in the top half. They lost. They lost. <laughs> <laughs> God, they're bad. <laughs> it's just a bit like, oh, it's painful. <laughs> It's, really it's bad. so painful. There's like it's like you're bad, but you haven't even like drafted your prospects yet. So there's nothing to look forward to this year except for sucking. You're not gonna believe who tied the game in the tenth, <laughs> and you're not gonna believe who got the game winning hit. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Just... Josh Naylor doubled the center to tie it, and oh. Bo Naylor <laughs> singled to win the game. They both the homer earlier in this game. I hate the Nailers with a burning passion. All they ever do is just murder the White Sox week in and week out, and I hate it. I hate it. I might rip up Dustin Rose's card before it ever makes it to him. God. I found another one at home, Dustin, so if he rips it up. I Good. We found a replacement. I can send Because that thing is in danger. Henderson is not available in the baseballs. We still have Mookie Betts, Pedro Martinez, Sammy Sosa, and John Smokes. We've also got Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor, and Jim Palmer. He's hitting 148 this year. Bone. I hate him so much. I hope are so, all four, JJ. Are all four of us hit to get the White Sox today? Maybe. <laughs> He, he went four. yard. He has one home run. That's his first home run of the year. Yeah, br- cool. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we should do the one and four double tonight. I mean, it's literally two spots to go. Yeah, Miguel should. Cabrera, Kim Elijah, and Gary Payton and Steve Eiserman. 
I would show you guys the graphic again. This is literally what my screen looks like. You said you'll never get. So I can't. I I'm, I want to show the graphic and stuff, but I can't right now. So, sorry. Trivia: Who is the only MLB player to ever lead his league in home runs for seven consecutive years? It's not Barry Bonds. Is that Babe Ruth? Is it Hank Aaron? Hank Aaron never hit over fifty home runs in a year. I believe that. He Hank Aaron, by the way, is... 25-time All-Star. He's, he's, <laughs> he's my goat. Yeah. He's my goat. Hank I Aaron, 25-time All-Star? Hank Aaron's incredible. He, uh, he's the gold standard of a baseball player to me. But not, not Ruth, Ruth or, or Aaron. Aaron. And it's, I'm guessing not Barry. Oh, that's a bomb. Not by Holiday, by Westberg. But they, they, but they did take the lead at 7-5 Orioles. Come on, Jackson. <laughs> Get that first career hit right now, baby. Um. Okay, hold on. Not, I was thinking about this. The Jimmy Fox, Ted Williams. Ted Williams. Either of those guys is not a bad guess. Yeah, because it's. I can't think of someone in the modern day. There's no way. If it was somebody in the modern day, we it's would Barry know. Bonds, right? Yeah, we would know. And McGuire and so so they and only Sosa. had like a three year. Sprint. Yeah, they didn't go for seven years. Not Fox or Ted. Harmon Killebrew. <laughs> the Triple Crown winner that nobody can think of. Two time Triple Crown winner. He hit for being bombs? Jim Tomey? No. No way. No. no way. Oh, here we go. Now we're back. All right, cool. We're back. A-Rod? Not killer. <laughs> Come on, fellas. I'm going to go ahead and drop in these two links while we keep guessing. Don't uh, say it, Bob. I'm trying to think here. Two to go in that college double. Again, Jerome Bettis. Not A-Rod. <laughs> Jerome Bettis, Tim Brown still out there. Jim Kelly. And the uh, Reggie Wayne. And then two to go in that one and four double. JJ wants to see it. I think Mr. Rich is in that series. Let's get those two done. Three to go in the one and four single. Let's keep it going. Minis are the chase. Nobody in yet. We haven't done a single mini helmet break. We are still looking for Will Anderson in those minis. So Reggie Jackson? Yes. <laughs> I also want Jackson Holiday to get hit. Don't spoil it. I think you're out of me. I think you're out of me. Am I? Not Reggie. Anybody want to get in that mini helmet break with me? Anybody at all, says Blake. The only thing, yeah, Blake, where are we at in the minis? Five to go. Looking for that one Willie Anderson. Oh, are we five to go? No, five boxes to go. Oh, five boxes to go. Yeah, somebody else get in there. That Will Anderson's still available. We're just in a lot of peculiar spots. Pete Jenkinson's in there with you. He Six to go. Spot. Six to go. It's That's probably going to be the only mini helmet break we do, guys. It's two minis coming out. You could double up with one spot, $49. And then if you win the chase, which you're going to have a one in eight chance per spot to do that, the chances are you are going to profit on that wheel spin. Is it 51%. Dave Sorry, is it Dave Parker? The guy we just pulled. Yeah. Dave is it Parker. Dave Parker? Oh, he went. Boo. Oh, so you are ahead of me. You spoiled it. Oh, sorry. You jerk. You, you were ahead of me before, so. Oh, but you're. He did. He did go. He did go. Not Parker. Um. O for four star for Jackson Holiday. Doesn't have an RBI though. I mean, he's gonna be fine. I'm not. I kind of. I'm not too well, worried yeah, about him. I'm not. not not Hopefully, well, now I want the Red Sox to tie it, so we yeah, got so extra. extras. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not Parker. NL. Albert Pujols. I don't think it was him. No, he just had the greatest 10-year start of any current player ever. Um, don't say it, Bob. I Again, chat, feel free to guess. Can we get, like, an era? Did we watch this guy play baseball? I don't think so. Was it in the last 30 years? But, like, you know what the funny thing is, though? Is that you just never know in baseball, right? Like... Do you know who has, like, the most hits of the 90s? Yes, but I can't think of the name. It's somebody random. It's like Mark Grace. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, what? That's, That's not who you would think. Not last 30. So not in our lifetime. Not We did not see the sky play. Power hitter. Has he been in the break room, Bob? That's another good question. That is a question right now. Okay, again, Bob might not know, but Willie Bob. McCovey. Willie McCovey. <laughs> Willie Mays. Ooh. That's not a terrible guess. Willie Mays might be it. Because if you think of baseball history, a lot of the power hitters are AL. Willie could have easily took that, and he has 660 home runs. That's like the next uh, five-tool player I think of. Yeah. Willie Mays was incredible. 
Not, never saw him in the break room. Not, not say not hey. Not say hey, Nays. Oh, He's never been in the break room. The oh, good. All right, so we're playing. We're playing a losing game here. William's not heard of the guy. Oh, that's fantastic. Seven years in a row? You would think And he's not in the Hall of Fame. I guess that doesn't mean you have to be in the Hall of Fame, but... Seven years in a row? I don't even remember what we're trying to figure out. He led the he league led, in home He runs. led the league in home runs for his seven league. years in a row. Not the MLB, but his league. His league. He, he, was, he, the, led, he, he was, was the NL leader in home runs for seven, seven straight years. years. It had to be like in the 1800s when everyone was hitting like five. Yeah, is it, <laughs> is it, is it, is it uh, Catfish Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> He's a pitcher, but good try. He was a Mets announcer for about 40 years. So he, he played for the Mets. That would make sense. It's In which case, it's, I'm. I'm think, I think when I think of Mets and outside, I think of Keith Hernandez, and that guy was a sl- like a singles hitter. It's no way it was Keith. Hernandez. Yeah, no way. Um, William William knows who Keith Hernandez is. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to think. He didn't no. play for the Mets. He was there announcer for forty years. He but did, he didn't play. For he him. didn't even play for him. Was it? The Mets came around in nineteen like sixty two. Man, what? dude, I, I'm not gonna get this. I. Nothing but mid vibes <laughs> coming from the left of the screen here. Wow. David, be nice. He just comes in and says, he's mad I don't invite him to play GTA. That which, is, you know, I didn't know, I didn't know he wanted in. He should have said something. I think he's voiced his opinion multiple times about his King Pindom. That was true. I just thought he was a solo grinder. I got two more spots. Let's fill yep. it out. You got four, four to go in those minis. Four to go in the minis. I'll drop that in the chat as well. William says he never heard of him. 46 to Can 52. Can I get 1946? That's when he led the league? Those were his seven years. Or, yeah, I'm guessing. Ralph. Ralph. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you... Ralph mean... Nate who? <laughs> and I don't think that is also got, That is also... I think you shoot me messages on PlayStation, and I'm, like, not at my PlayStation yeah. when they come in, and I don't see them. I mean, we're probably going to do the wheel spin after that, potentially, anyway. I did, mean, you already, did you already... Oh yeah, we did that one wheel spin. Yeah, we did the one wheel spin. I mean, we're going to keep it going until the end of the show to do the wheel spin. You know what I mean? But, yeah. 1946 to 1952. Ted Williams was AL. Larry Doby was AL. Who's Ralph? I'm trying to think. Ralph Sampson. <laughs> Was it Willie McCovey? That would make significant. He said he had the right field corner of the stadium hidden and named after him. Will it, wow. Well, that's the. Was Willie McCovey in the 40s, though? I thought he was like the 60s and 70s. It's probably not Willie McCovey. It's not Stretch. Wow, they're really firing Ralph. Like, it's an answer that I've ever heard of. I don't know who Ralph is. Yeah, who's Ralph? <laughs> I cannot name a single baseball player named Ralph. Let's go to baseball reference and just see. What Ralphs are out there? <laughs> it's probably the first one. Ralph Kiner. I know Ralph Kiner. I've heard of Ralph Kiner. I think he's a pirate. Ralph Kiner had to be him. R- Ralph Kiner? Ralph Kiner. Yeah, he absolutely led his league. Never heard of this man. Yeah. <laughs> pirate. Yeah, Cub at the end. Uh, yeah. I, I heard of him. I didn't know that. I didn't think of him in that era. Yeah, Ralph Kiner. There Heather said it. Ralph Kiner. That's a good question right there, yeah. Look him up. All right. Well, I mean, he's earned it, I would say. He's the guy that literally just finishes 6th, 7th, 4th, 5th in MVP. <laughs> he's in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, he, he he's is. a really good player. All right, Peter Ralph Kiner, by the way, February 6th, 2014. 91. He lived a nice, nice well, life. Yeah, right? I mean, he played some great baseball, it sounds like. Hall of Fame. And here's the stretch. 46-52. to 52. Back then, 23 home runs <laughs> would lead you. In the MLB, or the uh, National League, at least. <laughs> That's insane. 23 home runs. Wow. Seven straight years. He did play by play for the Nets. That's why nobody has heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> also played two years with the Cubbies. He did at the end, right? One year with Cleveland at the end. Ugh. Come on. Cleveland. I feel like that guy at the end of 42 is- Pittsburgh. <laughs> 23 home ones because many players were still coming back from World War II. Mm. Yeah. 
So a down year in the old bigs. <laughs> That's uh, like Ted Williams. Ted Williams is one of my favorite baseball players ever, especially that I haven't seen play because, like, the stories of how he just was like, I'm the best player in the league, and then he left to go fight for our country, quite literally. And then he came back and he said, I'm the best player in the league again. Like, he is unbelievable. His card in MLB The Show when they had it was absurd. Oh, I believe it. Absurd. I believe it. Another great baseball reference to look up right there. Teddy Ball game. <laughs> Greg in here says Cleveland, at least it's not Detroit. Theodore Samuel <laughs> Williams. Um, I think it was, uh, where did they play the Final Four? This year? Was it in Albany? I think so. I'm not sure. Someone made a nice mashup, though, between Caitlin Clark and Joe Kim Noah. Where Caitlin Clark was talking about Cleveland, she's like, I like the vibes here. It's like a bigger version of the city I grew up in. And it just cuts to Joe Kim. I never heard anyone that liked Cleveland. How many people ever thought of you they're going to vacation on Cleveland? What's so special about it? <laughs> I like Cleveland, personally. Uh, it looks like a fun little town. Like, there's yeah. no doubt. And they got professional sports, which is awesome. It was in Glendale, Arizona. So, oh, we weren't close. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they passed through Well, there. now, that was the men's Final Four. I don't think the women's Final Four was in Glendale. I thought it was in Albany. I know the men's Final Four was in Glendale. See, that's what's funny about this tournament. When you said Final Four, I didn't think of the men's right away. Immediately, nope. I thought of the women. <laughs> what? What? Whoa. <laughs> you what? <laughs> How? How does one accidentally... Have you ever seen that, that song with Cleveland? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, God, I'll have to show you after this show. Oh, it said, at least we're not Detroit. The banger. I think, I think that's what he was talking about. He's at Cleveland, at least it's not Detroit. Yeah, I think that is what he is referencing. Williams said, oops. Let's close the minis just for the chase spin alone, right? Let's do it. There's a, uh, have you ever seen Nathan for You or know what it is? So, what is it? Nathan for You. No, I am not. It's a, you should watch it. It's hilarious. But he basically, like, this episode, he was going on a talk show, uh, I think it was Jimmy Kimmel or whatever, and he's like, every every good ho or guest on a talk show has like an amazing story, and he didn't have one, so he like what he was did. able to tell this story about how he got like pulled over wearing somebody else's jacket because he got the wrong luggage at the airport, and it turned out there was cocaine in there, so there's this big misunderstanding with the cop, and he didn't want to lie on national television. So he made that all happen. Like, he purposely had a stranger take his luggage, have this oversized coat that he had to wear. Oh, my gosh. And slip some cocaine he in there. He staged it all. Yeah, and that's, like, that's what the show is. Like, he just does all sorts of outrageous things. Like, there's one where he has to get out of these handcuffs, uh, and there's a machine that will come and grab and unzip his pants, and, like, he'll expose himself, and there's a group of children watching. So he would be, like, a sex offender for life if he didn't... Um, escape the handcuffs at a certain time. Oh, gosh. It is a hilarious show. I think this is what Greg is referencing. One second. Commercial. Uh, Brayden. Brayden Glendy, by the way. I'm guessing you used that gift card. Hop back into the... viewership as well guys again if you're just tuning in this is the baseball series that's left we have Mookie Betts John Smoltz still out there as well as the uh, Pedro Martinez mini or Funko Pop there and the Sammy Sosa bat four photo headliners here in the baseball we're down to just 17 boxes 
We also have three listed headliners here in Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor, and Jim Palmer. In the college double, which is now two to go, by the way, you can still double up with Tim Brown and Jerome Bettis. Both of those are full-size authentic helmets. We also still have the uh, Reggie Wayne replica Miami lit out there and the Jim Kelly rep, which both of these would be able to, to be double up opportunities. There's only 11 left, four headliners. That everything else spot with two full-size authentics, two uh, Miami helmets in the ACC. The Diamonds still have, okay, let's click on it, an Aaron Donald speed flex out there. There's only nine boxes left, so a chance at Aaron Donald. We're also still looking for Will Anderson, uh, Kenneth Walker III, and Jim Kelly. Those guys all still out there. In the one and four, which is two spots to go, Miguel Cabrera on the blonde baseball Louisville Slugger and Hakeem Olajuwon still available in the basketball spot with a double-up opportunity with Gary Payton and Steve Iserman. Only 14 one and fours left with four headliners. Seven to go in the jerseys. Uh, no headliners left, only three boxes, but we can get that done. Three to go in the minis. This is the chase. Five boxes left. Double box break every time here. So two of these coming out. 40% chance at that Lunar Will Anderson. Could get that right here. So those are our closest breaks. That's what we're trying to get done. 8.30. Let's keep it going, guys. My favorite Cleveland song is Cleveland Rocks by the President of the United States of America, which also is the theme of the Drew Carey oh, show. Oh, okay. Interesting. I have a trivia question. What AL player led the league in home runs seven consecutive You sure it wasn't just seven years when Babe Ruth did it? I'm guessing Babe Ruth did it. Actually, the guy I have up right now, he might have. No, he didn't. I think it was Paul Canerico. <laughs> Magli Lord Yeah. It was Manny Ramirez, but only when he played for the White Sox. <laughs> Which was one year, but it counts as seven. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr., also that one year. Also, also Babe Ruth... <laughs> Babe Ruth led the AL in home runs with 11 in 1918. Ugh. Wow. The pure pain. Babe Ruth led the league in home runs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of 14 years. But never seven consecutively. Never seven consecutively. He had six consecutively going 47, 60, 54, 46, 49, 46. Then did not lead the league in home runs with 41 somehow. I'm guessing Jimmy Fox ruined that. It's wild that in 1918 he hit 11 home runs. In 1919 he hit 29. And then in 1920 he hit 54. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is, a, oh, that is a massive output was in he three do, years. Was, Babe Ruth was taking steroids. <laughs> in 1920? I think he was ahead of his time. Were steroids even available in 1920? You never know what was available. <laughs> steroids can be classified as different things. Coke was made differently in 1929. Bob said they changed the ball. Now listen, here's a hypothetical for you. They're already at the fourth spot here. Maybe he comes he, up yeah, again if they might. keep on batting here. They just gotta keep scoring. Boy, that's the best decision they ever oh, made. Oh, he swung the bat. Got drilled, though. <laughs> oh, he didn't... Su he did swing. He did swing. He definitely went. Why did he swing? Because he was trying to defend himself. Making... <laughs> That didn't work. <laughs> yeah, making changing the baseball up is. I mean, I wonder what the players thought after that happened. See, Greg, you, you said it. I did it. I just said they made Coca Cola a little bit differently back then, and that was the end of that conversation. Yeah, but that doesn't even. <laughs> that's not gonna make you hit the ball farther. Intense focus, concentration. You never know. Babe was a wild man. He doesn't strike me as the... Beers and, beers and hot dog kind of guy. That sounds more right. Steak and potatoes breakfast. Not cocaine. He doesn't strike with me a, as... With a dash of... A form of... As, not a evidently, fan. Evidently. Not a fan of Coca-Cola, just to be fan. No, like, I don't drink soda, really. Like, uh, and that's not even like a... Oh, it's it's unhealthy for you. Like, I literally, when I was a kid, I... Like it. Yeah, I don't drink soda. I wish I had that problem. Speaking of which, I, I do want juice. my Coke Zero. You can't leave. <laughs> We're in the middle of a show. You can't get up. Somebody go get you one another prime? No. <laughs> that is a health decision that I don't need two energy drinks back to back. There was a time here at Ultimate Autographs I would do that. Why? Well, you want to get lit?
lit for some 2K tonight? Um, I mean, I'll probably be out regardless, but... You say that, but then we never play. You're not on the... This is this David Griffin problem all over again. <laughs> if I don't know you're there, how am I going to play? Two to go in the college double, three to go in the minis. Guys, at the very least, we should get those two breaks done. The college double, still the double-up opportunities with Bettis and Brown, Reggie Wayne and Jim Kelly, and then the chase wheel spin is the mini helmets. Will Anderson is still out there. Those are the two we should get done at the very least before we're, before we're off the air here. All right, I'm guessing those are going to go down here in a matter of moments. You would think, all right? I just cannot believe the Chicago White Sox. <laughs> and the Nailers. Just... The, the Nailers, bro. I I don't think I've ever... We hated... need you to make like a TikTok video for just how much you hate the Nailers. Listen to me. This is the truth. I, I, I've already told you this. When I play MLB The Show, if Josh Naylor steps in front of me, he's, he's done. He's done. Every time. I don't care if it's 3-3 three, three in the ninth with the bases loaded, and I hit him and we lose the game. Josh Naylor's getting beamed every single time. I, I think I told you I have one, too. Yeah. Yeah, this has to be done. There's know, just, there's just laws is. that have to be... What? I think I know who it is. Yeah. Maybe not. Is he in the game? He's he's in the game, I think. He's, he's out of cards in the game. All right. I, I was like, I haven't seen him yet. And I drill him every time. <laughs> <laughs> God, 10 to 2 at the end. I'm talking about Kemp, right? Who? Kemp. Matt Kemp? Yeah. I like Matt Kemp. Who did he lose the MVP to? In 2012. Who'd he lose to? The guy you beat every time. Yep. That's like Ryan Braun. Yeah. That's 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 yep. I, that, I meant to say Ryan Braun and I said Matt Camp. Undisputed but. passion and hatred towards that man. Ryan Braun. Ugh, can he get a life? <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I am sure Josh Naylor is a wonderful human being. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Nice guy. But the way he <laughs> treats my White Sox <laughs> is unacceptable. <laughs> it's understandable. I feel you. I feel you, man. I, I just, feel you. That guy, that guy, he is, he is something else. Right. <laughs> Buddy, you really, really are hurting me. Speaking of the Brewers, they're up 6 nothing over the Reds. Yeah, they're they're annoying. Make it 6-1. The Reds just scored. Uh, was Hopefully it Ellie like, De La Cruz bomb? Say, hopefully it was Ellie De La Cruz. Uh, no, it was... Is that Scott Fairchild? Is that his name? Scott Fairchild. Oh, okay, yeah. I think it's Scott. Stuart Fairchild? Stuart. Ellie De La Cruz, 0 for 1. These are our top hits today. I mean, it's going to be a baseball hit video. We got Vladimir uh, Guerrero yeah. Sr., Ronald Acuna Jr., and Ken Griffey Jr. Three incredible hits. Probably reverse order of what I would say so far into the show. Ken's got to be number one, right? Got to give it to the kid. Again, he doesn't... Like, we see Vlad Sr., we see Acuna Jr., we see Eric Dickerson. It's been a minute. There, there's a lot of red going on. <laughs> All right, this has got to go. It's a red theme. <laughs> it's a red theme. That takes precedent. Yeah, no. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. It fits. Oh, what a catch. He might get up in the ninth. Yeah, that's true. I forgot. Yeah, they still got the ninth inning. Well, he'll, we'll turn it back to orange if he earns it. So three in that double break, guys, for the college... And I believe just two, right? Or no, it's reversed. Three in the mini, two in the college double. Who wants in? Can't go without a wheel spin, right? And I, um, I would not. I would think so. Yeah, and again, it's $49 play. Double box break. Two minis coming out. You could win twice with just one spot. Two autograph mini helmets. And then if you win the chase, if you get... I mean, I spun an 86 the first time. You're actually going to make money in the end. You're going to get paid... And you're going to get mini helmets coming your way. My man's helping you out. Go get it. Go Trying. get it. Trying. Either way. Well, let's see it. Boy, Kansas City just giving it to Houston. 9-2 to two in that game. They might not be good at the like you know the end of the year record-wise, but in a few years, the Royals are going to do what they did like 10 years ago and just go to back-to-back -to -back World Series. Yeah, so put it like, together for yeah. two seasons and then... It's not the worst recipe. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if you get them, 
Good if you can get it, right? That's kind of the key. Can you get it? I think the Hornets got a good one in Brandon Miller. The guy's got 25 points tonight. They seem to have made the correct decision. Yes. I drafted him kind of early in my Dynasty Basketball League, and people, like, laughed at me. The thing with rookies is you've got to, like, just let them breathe. You know, the first couple weeks, it could look real bad. But then by the end of the year, they're usually, if they're good, they're good to go. Mm -hmm. They're finding their footing. They're doing all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, all the talk was about Victor Wembanyama, where obvious. Which is the correct pick. I think there have been some people that have maybe overlooked Victor Wembanyama a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a little bit interesting, because, A, he's a hard man to overlook, quite literally. <laughs> um, Did you hear what uh, Gigi Jackson said about him? Uh -huh. He said he's so tall, when he talks, it sounds like he's whispering. Because <laughs> it's just so far. Because it's so far, he's so far up there. there. I'd like to see a picture of him and Muggsy Bogues together. Did you see that, uh, like that, legendary you see that one three on one fast break with the. Uh... No. <laughs> so stupid. I gotta find it. But I don't wanna be looking for it. I wanna be filling in these orders. Yeah, right? Steven's got too much time on his hands. I right know. I believe uh, Wimby's. Is he hurt right now? No, I think he's just taking the day off. Yeah, I was about to say, because they've got. Uh... Oh, they're getting crushed. They are getting creamed. I mean, they are playing the Thunder, who are... They're 17-point dogs. Well, that's it right now. <laughs> right. Tall, tall people should not be able to do the what he did. Well, he's a different breed. This is this is not bad, but... Did he just make another catch? That guy's going insane <laughs> out there. I would miss the video because I was watching that. Here we go. Whoop. Whoop. That's the thing. This dude is seven over seven feet tall, and he puts the basketball on the ground like he's a point guard. I know. All right, the one I sent you below is literally That's a three-on-one three on fast break. It's so silly. <laughs> like nobody wants to go down there against him. Look at that three on one. They're like, yeah, well, no, I'm not going out there. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's insane. I think he's not winning Defensive Player of the Year this year because he's a rookie. Not because he's not the Defensive Player of the Year. Yeah, that's, right. And that's just silly. well, that's that's what he said, right? He's like, all right, Rudy can have this one, but <laughs> yeah, it's the only one you're gonna get. <laughs> Wemby is so tall that he has a blinking red light on the top of his head. Kinda does. You gotta. That's gonna be like the Chuck Norris jokes, but they're just gonna be about Victor Wembanyama. Right. What do you guys think? I mean, I, it's gotta be minis or college double. I would think they're both right there. But who wants to take it? That is the question. Label these videos while I wait. What was yesterday? April 9th? Yeah, today's the 10th. I mean, I, we brought it up before, but the last person that got the closer spot in the baseball got King Griffey Jr. That's true. At this point, if you get the closer spots in the college double, you could get Jerome Bettis and Tim Brown in the very same break. That would be worth it, I would say, overall. Uh, I would absolutely say that's worth it. Pushing every button but the one I want. I don't think I was meant for computers, you know? Yeah, you know. I was born in the wrong time. <laughs> I was not meant for computers. You're born in the wrong time. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. 
guess we can pick our new argument to, to have. <laughs> What's our new argument going to be? I don't know. What do you want to argue about? <laughs> Not a lot. I don't like arguing too much. Well, I've already convinced you that Chipotle is fast food. Yeah. What do you, what do you think you need to convince me on? I don't know. Say, what's a controversial take you have? It's a controversial take that I have? Yeah, can you think of any? Or does anybody have a controversial take? What's that one image? You know, the one where oh, the guy's God. holding all the swords up to him? Oh, no. I was thinking of the dress. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the dress. No. He's got all the swords up to him? Yeah, it's like the... Um, it's, so, so it's usually the same. It's like, what's a take that has people... Cedric Mullins is up first, so they need to get someone on. Oh, yeah. Alright, that's the, um... They actually need to get two people on, I think. That's the GIF. Alright, one sec. No, if, if one gets on and all three batters well, face... Well, they've already got an out. Oh, they do? Yeah. They got two people need to get on. <laughs> I'll die on this hill. <laughs> yeah, no. What is it? <laughs> Which player currently holds the most Grand Slams hit in MLB history? Um, oh, uh, is it, it's not A-Rod. I think it's, um, Manny Ramirez? It might be Manny. Really? Yeah, Manny hit a lot. Well, you watch the fastball right down the middle, so <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> that. That's not going to get us there. <laughs> not Manny. I'm guessing it wasn't A-Rod. God, this one I knew. Was it Ted Williams? Boy, now you're all over the place. He's panicking. I am. All on the inside, I'm panicking. I could have sworn. Maybe that was postseason home, but I was thinking of. Could be. Such an elite class, you know. I need a positive answer. I think maybe you've already said it, and you need to be positive. You need to say, this is my answer. Yeah, Alex Rodriguez is my answer. For some oh, reason. For some not reason. Not A-Rod. <laughs> A-Rod, 25, there you go. Boy, you literally said it first, and then you yeah. switched to Manny. I did that once in uh, grade school. There was a baseball question. Everyone just looked right at me, and I was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and it was the, who had the most career home <laughs> runs. It was such an easy one. I was, Figures, like, uh, I was like, baby, no hanker, no hanker. But the pressure was on. You was. The pressure was on. When your peers were just eyeing you down, that's <laughs> all you talk about. <laughs> uh, well. We need two runs. <laughs> Boston's got to tie it. And then Jackson Holiday walks Drives it in. off. Yep. He can't walk it off, but he can give him the lead. Oh, that's right. He can't walk it off. But he can, he can give him the lead. lead. He can give him the lead. All right, guys. We've been about 20 minutes without an order here. So, obviously, we like to hang out and shoot the you-know-what, but we got to be doing breaks. And right now, I mean, it doesn't make a ton of sense just because when you look here, two to go in this college double. Tim Brown, Jerome Bettis, two full-size authentics out there. Still have that Reggie Wayne that was in the top right. And we have that Jim Kelly that's still out there. Double up opportunities in there for 142. Guaranteed full-size helmet coming out in that college. Two to go. Two to go in the double one and four. Again, you can still double up with the Hakeem Olajuwon and that Gary Payton that's in the listing. Miguel Cabrera is in that baseball spot. We also have Steve Eiserman in that everything else spot. Two to go in the one and four double. 
And if you guys want to get a wheel spin done, we got to do the mini helmets. $49 a spot, double box break every single time. That Will Anderson Lunar smack dab in the middle is still available. We're probably, I mean, if we don't get an order by 9 o'clock, we're probably going to hop off early. But if you guys want to make a push in any of those series, because to me, we should do all three of those, right? Yeah. Two to go and two, two to go for like an hour and a half. Yeah, we're in the red zone in two of our best series we offer here. And then the mini helmets, which are the chase, are three away. And we've kind of just been sitting there. So we'll see. Close that mini says pete help out pete help out everybody that wants to see that mini helmet break i want to see it i missed the question but brooks robinson has 16 of it now it's like jeopardy <laughs> this is my this is my sport what this position be... player is the most gold gloves in mlb history and you said maddox i, s I didn't read the whole question <laughs> i just read most and i pitched him out there but then i nailed the second one whatever he's like what are you like no it's position player five brooks robinson <laughs> That's just funny. <laughs> what position player has the most gold gloves in MLB history? Well, Maddox. He plays a position. He does play a position. I don't <laughs> to think. To be fair. <laughs> I know it's not what Bob meant, but yeah, to no, be I fair. I don't think. I don't think that's what anybody Bob, means. sometimes when I read questions, I just skip over very key parts, so that's my bad. That's why he didn't do so well in school. I was a C, B student. But you'd be an A student if you read the whole question. Yeah, but then... How many times did you look at it and say, dang? Yeah, but then I wouldn't have as many friends so sacrifices <laughs> pure sacrifices i guess <laughs> <laughs> all right we got uh mr rich back in there with another spot so we're two to go in three different series here guys there's no reason why we can't do all three of those at the very least wrap this whole day up in a pretty bow see a couple of notre dame fighting irish helmets in that college see Will Anderson and get a wheel spin in the minis, and then maybe we see Miggy and Gary Payton or Akeem Olajuwon or Steve Eiserman in that one and four double. Miggy. I want to do all of that. Miggy. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, two runs for the Red Sox. Let's do it. Craig Kimbrell with, with the man bun out there. Here's one Steven won't get. How many single stitches does an official MLB baseball have? 128? 132 was going to be my guess. I also saw, I can't remember the number, but like the amount of baseballs they go through oh, that's in an average silly. MLB game. Yeah, it's silly. ridiculous. It's silly. It is insane. Uh, one of the guys that I... Um... 216. I was yeah. closer. I win. Yeah, you were. <laughs> uh, one of the guys I call games for, he's a player on the team. He uh, he literally, his job at Wrigley is to get the ball and just certify an authenticator. Like, yeah. Oh, this was hit. And he like shows me there's just a big smear. Yeah. Because <laughs> he smacked the ball. I was like, Ugh. Well, that's like, I mean, you They're see it. That's, it's so hard. <laughs> a lot of times they'll have like, you know, a stand where you can buy game used baseballs and they'll say like, Tim Anderson ground out to short third inning on this date against yeah, right. this team. Uh -huh. And, like, it's just, like, it's genius, you know? And then you can turn it around and sell it as an official baseball. Like, it's game used, technically. Yeah. It was whacked. It was whacked. <laughs> it was thrown by some pitcher and hit by some player. Specifically, that person. That person that I just said. In this case, Tim Anderson. <laughs> But even the they'll do the the pinches like they'll do, like K Craig Kimbrell if he puts one in the dirt yeah and then they throw the ball off uh -huh. to the side like Craig Kimbrell K Craig they sell for like thirty forty bucks look like, guys yeah it's insane I'm just like I don't know if that's unless he autographed it I'm I don't know if it's worth it but some people like that twenty sixteen I know I think we gave Bob like a didn't we give him like a ball that had like glass ball? Yeah, that glass ball that had some of the Yankee Stadium dirt in it. Yeah, that thing was cool. That thing was cool. Shout out Bob Boulet. He's keeping us He's keeping, keeping us busy trivia. with uh, some trivia. All right, Bob, hit me with another one. Not literal baseball related question. <laughs> I've got one for you. Where in what division do the Florida Marlins play? At least. <laughs> And then the Miami Marlins, by the way. That's true. And they're in the NLEs. Well, listen, when we pulled we pulled the Gary Sheffield and it was the Florida Marlins. It was. That's, That's why it was on my mind. But you are right, it is the Miami Marlins. Luckily for baseball, the only one that like is a big switch is the Astros, because they used to play in the NL Central and now they're in the L West. 
That is that is a weird switch. That is the well, I mean, what for my whole life, you know, until they made the switch, there were sixteen teams in the National League and fourteen teams in the American League. They didn't like, make a lot. Like, what are you guys doing? Oh my god. Who broke up at least eighty one no hitters and shutouts with a home run? At least? So this has gotta be an old player, right? One person? Yeah, are we talking a team? This is a person? One singular person did this? I guess technically in the first inning when you hit a home run, it's the first hit of the game. That's true, yeah. If you're it's technically breaking like up if you're breaking up a no hitter <laughs> in the first inning. Ricky Henderson? I told the early show to take plus money on Marlins winning. Wow. No, Ricky Henderson! No, I called it. That's that's funny. Ricky <laughs> Henderson, by virtue of his 81 leadoff home runs, which occurred when the opposing pitcher had clearly not yet allowed a hit. Yeah. Seems yeah once, you get to the, make... once you get to the technicalities, it's like, all right, that does make sense. I told the early show to take the plus money on the Marlins to win. Why didn't you tell us to take that? We weren't here in the early show. Yeah, I guess that's true. The Marlins had already started? I think it started like five something. Hmm. I wonder if they did it. I think they did. They did win. Oh, they're Last five, they're time, five to two right now in the bottom of the ninth. I don't know if it was JJ or somebody. No, no, it was uh, it was Ron. Lucky's locks. Yes. He was like, I think he said take uh, the Avalanche on the money line and the Warriors on the money line for plus money. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it, and it paid off. There so. You know. I take the customers' rides. I think it was last year the Yankees played the Marlins, and there was this guy who had like done player team combo results and had literally literally nine of the ten hit and his last leg was Garrett Cole to have like six strikeouts and the Yankees win and nice. the Yankees were up five to one in the top of the ninth insanity insanity bet against history JJ said they could have lost 12 of this first 13 Ugh. The only player in history to hit a walk-off inside the park grand slam. Wow. Walk off. Angel Pagan? Angel Pagan. For the Giants? I know he had an inside the park walk-off. I don't remember if it was a grand slam or not. Yeah, that's... Because I know, uh... If it's probably... If it's not him, then I... I saw Tyler Naquin hit a walk-off inside the park home run, mm. but it wasn't a grand slam. It was not Pagan. Well, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I could literally just throw baseball players out there. <laughs> yeah. I have no actual certified. That could literally be anybody. Have a grand slam in your career? That's pretty dope, though. A walk off inside the park. Can you imagine being at that game? Electric. Joe Aguilar would know who it is. Well, that well, that ends that question for me. So he's an older player. <laughs> and a very specific older player. Because <laughs> yeah. Joe, Joe knows very specific players and yes. knows a lot about them. <laughs> Did Joe want to go get his autograph at the uh, show? Cause that oh, was... this is uh, Roberto Clemente. No wonder Joe would know him. July 25th, 1956, off Cubs pitchers Jim Brosnan. Brazen, How did you not get it? Well, I don't think of negative Cubs history. So Blake just hopped in. He's in the jerseys, and then I believe the baseball single. Yep. So the baseball single now, I believe, is five to go. Four to go. Four to go. We're two to go on three different series right now, guys. Again, two in this college double where you can win two Notre Dame lids or two Miami lids. You are two on this multi-sport double box break. We can get four more boxes out here just by closing these up and four more great hits potentially as well. Two to go on the minis. This would give us a chase wheel spin. Let's close this night out right. Let's get these three breaks done. Two to go. Just need some closer magic on those three, and we can get it going. The baseball series, by the way, could still ignite a spark with that Mookie Betts jersey that's out there. But Sammy Sosa and Pedro Martinez also still out there. Three photoed headliners. Uh, and John Smoltz, excuse me, four photoed headliners. Two jerseys, a bat, and that Funko Pop. Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor, and Jim Palmer also still out there in the baseball series. What is this? Click it. Please. Please. Ellie La Cruz solo yes, homework? Yes, let's sir. Go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Ellie's heating up. I might have to sell the card. <laughs> I have a lot of his Bowman first. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a Bowman Chrome first. PSA 10 for 60 bucks. I saw somebody, I don't know how, it was the red 
uh, Bowman first of Jackson Holiday that was graded a 10. Ugh. And he was trying to sell it for like $10,000 on opening day. I think, I think Tops, when they said he was called up. Tops dropped a photo of uh, the gold one of one. Like, I wonder how much that's going for. <laughs> Not enough. Well, his jersey today is going to have his, his, because it's got his MLB debut patch, it's going to be in either the Tops update. Oh, God. Coming or later on this year or next year. And I'm sure that'll go for <laughs> no money at all. No, Which we don't pitcher want to started the All Star game, then played only one MLB game the rest of his career? Which pitcher? I, so I feel like I feel like either A he got injured or something. It had to be that. Or B he was old, like really old. Satchel like, Page. God, he was yeah. really old. That is, if you were going for a guy that was old and pitching, <laughs> you got one. Yeah. <laughs> Satchel Page is a different Dude, that dude was a different beast, man. He's he's incredible. If we ever get anything Satchel Page, if anybody has anything Satchel Anything Page. from the leagues. Right. That would be fantastic. All right, we're wanting to go on the minis. One to go on the minis. Pat has been putting in the work in these Help minis to Pat get Pat out, JJ, Blake, Pete, the gang. Get in there. Yeah, might as well get that second spot. Give us a wheel spin. It's 8.59. Let's go. J.R. Richard, the Astros fireballer, started oh, the 1980 All-Star Game yeah, for the I National League him. before suffering a career and did strokes soon afterward. Oh, my oh God. Oh, God. I didn't expect that. At least it was career-ending and not life-ending. Yeah, thank know, God. At the end of the day. Uh, I think he has one of those rare rookie cards from a very unusual set that's pretty expensive. J.R. Richard. He was, he's in the MLB The Show. Oh, is he? He will be, yeah. They've done a real weak job content release-wise this year, but... Yeah, everybody's saying that. They're not happy with it. The community seems upset. I'm enjoying myself, but... I don't think... I think you enjoy it for what it is, and a lot of the... There's people out there that do it for a job, and... Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, I know there's one guy... You probably know him. Uh, I don't remember his whole thing, but Gomes. Do you know who that is? He's a guy that plays on Be The Show. He streams Oh, Gomes the Legend? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, watch his videos or whatever. Yeah. And, uh... He's saying, like, this year more than any other has been so, like, pack-oriented. Like, you have to spend money to to kind of get all the the best stuff. And that stuff really isn't, like, crazy yet. Anyway. It's not even that good yet, yeah. Nah, man. I mean, it's going to get better. But one to go in the college double now. So I'll drop that in there. Come on, man, he says. Somebody have him out. Pat Rich, he literally has four of the five orders since... 8.30. Yep. He's been out here. He carrying. wants to play. Nobody else? We got 32 people watching. Nobody else wants to play? I would imagine that they would want to talk. No one's t chatting. No one's anything. Braden Glendy has closed out the mini. So we are going to have a chase. One to go on that college double. We should do the college double. Two to go on the one and four double. Hopefully we can get that done. And uh, four to go on the baseball single. Those are probably the ones we can get done. But, guys, obviously, a little bit of a slower show tonight. So, once we definitely... I mean, we're definitely going to do the minis, obviously. And then I think we're definitely going to do the college double. All right. After we're done with that, after we do the wheel spin, we'll see where we're at. But let's get that college double closed in the meantime. Because it did take uh, it did take a while here to get this mini closed. Okay, it's ready for it. Perfect. Put all these guys over here. And we will get this mini done. 40% chance we are going to see uh, Will Anderson in one of these minis, by the way. One of these, because it's a double box break. So we got Blake Winchell, Pete Jenkins, JJ Jones, Pat Jenkinson, rather, Pat Rich, and then Braden Glendy with the closer magic. Drop me two numbers here for mini number one. And these will be the guys in the chase, more than likely. And then, so, yeah, again, somebody get that closer magic in the study up college. You never know. That might be the closer magic to get the ACC and get Reggie Wayne and Jim Kelly. Might be the closer magic to get Jerome Bettis and Tim Brown in the everything else spot. You could win them both in that double. So does anybody want to call some boxes? Otherwise, we will let the lady wheel decide. I don't know why I decided she's a woman, but... Let them make their own choice. Blake said, gift card magic, baby. Let's go. Gift card magic for Blake. 
19 and 24 called out by Pete. That'd be even better for Blake. Because if he paid with a gift card, then I don't know how much the gift card was, but if it was a free spot, he's here. He could get minis for free, and he could actually end up getting money packed to go along with it. Could be a nice cycling. Could be a nice cycling, yeah. Then use that gift card to get back into the next chase item and just have a never-ending supply of free break spots. Uh, Pat also won at 24, so that works out. 19 and 24 coming up here. 7 and 8. We'll probably do a double and a single, I would think, to close up this game. Yeah. So you're probably, I think you already did, but you're probably good to post another. I think I already did. Yeah. All right. Pat's going to get it if it's Will Anderson. However, Pat's also got the NFC North. Pete's got the NFC South. Braden's got the NFC East. JJ, the NFC West. Blake, AFC North. Pat, AFC South, AFC East. And then JJ, AFC West. Bob's asking who's the only American League batting champ without a homer this uh, that season. What season? The year JJR? God, I don't even know what year that happened to JR. No, who's the only American League batting champ without a homer that season? Oh, you're saying... I think he's just saying in general. Who won a yeah, batting he champ? Said, he said that out oh, the same season. Yeah, but he didn't hit a homer that season. Uh, Ichiro Suzuki. Box 19 first. Rod Carew. Yeah, that, that, that's a yeah. Dang, I should have that one. Ooh. Here's a good one for Braden, because it's an eagle. How about Brent Selleck? Nice Brent Selleck standard mini here. NFC East, Braden Glendy. There you go, my man. Won the uh, chase wheel spin earlier, and now he's getting Brent Selleck. Brent Selleck uh, was a really good tight end. Before Zach Ertz, there was a time where they were actually playing together. And uh, he was really good playing with McNabb and then Carson Wentz. Michael Vick in there as well. The guy before the guy, if you will. Upsetting he was not on that Super Bowl team. Actually, I think he was on that Super Bowl team. I think he did get one. So I believe he is an Eagles Super Bowl champion as well. JJ said Raiders time. Eagles the first one. 25% chance now with what's left at Will Anderson. I'm going to have to look that up on my own time. I think he was on that Super Bowl team. Next mini. Braden takes the first with one spot there in the NFC East. This is a Bronco. Oh, it's nice. I love the orange on it. Randy Gratishar. Oh, wow. Randy Gratishar. Look at that auto. Very clean by Randy on the Bronco Salute to Service Mini. It is not a Raider. It is a Bronco, which I think JJ likes the Broncos as well. So that works out on Randy Gratishar. In preference to the Raiders, I think. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. So nicely done. And Will Anderson is going to go down to the last three minis. So, guys, if you want to hop back in and try to get that Will Anderson, uh, two thirds chance he's going to come out in that last double, and then there's going to be a single. And we did fill up that college double. So, that'll be on deck. All the Bronco minis I have are a salute to service. I just want a classic, but thank you. Well, maybe you can trade one for a classic, man. Or eventually you're going to hit one. Wow, when did it? I've never seen the legit Proba. No. Is there uh, a fake Proba? It's got legit Proba. <laughs> is there a fraud Proba? Yeah, don't look, at the, don't look at the fake ones. This is the legit one. <laughs> what four players have a home run as a teenager and after turning 40? Hit a home run as a teenager and after turning four. When did Albert was Albert Pools a teenager? I think he was. I think he was like nineteen. Pat Rich with three, actually four. Michael Otondro and then Dustin Rose closing this one up. Pujols bonds. Drop me two numbers. Not Pujols for college double number 
Coming up in the Bryce. Oh, Bryce isn't forty yet. Wow, Lou was all Lou over was that. Lou was on Eight that. and 30. He was all over that. Like, Bryce isn't 40 yet, but I know he hit one of the teenagers. He'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll add to that list. Uh, What about... For college, old? I don't have 8 or 30. You don't have 8 or 30? For college? No. What numbers do you have? 1, 2, 4, 14, 15, 16... 18, 25, 28, 32, and 33. Oh, the rest of it's right. Uh, Lou, do you want to give me two more numbers? Uh, that's our bad. Neither one of those were on the ticker. The ticker should be right now for college, though. Huh, weird. They must have, like, done this Coming up to major leagues and the teenagers is so tough. Uh, Pat, we'll do 33 if, if Lou doesn't give two numbers, but since it's our fault, we're going to give him first dibs. Uh, he wants 14. And then do you have another one, Lou? Was Adrian Beltre a teenager when he started? I feel like it's got to be like like, it, like everyone humans. we're gonna name was definitely good enough probably as a teenager, but coming up as a teenager is so hard. Yeah, I know it's so hard. And then so what you gotta really think of is playing into your forties. Twenty eight, by the way, fourteen and twenty eight. It's not Beltre. Oh yeah, that's I'm trying to think of older guys, and I'm yeah. like, well, when did they start? Did Ken Griffey play in his forties? Uh, I know Willie a long time. Willie Mays. Willie Mays has to be one. Willie Mays. Has to be one of them. All right. Watch Good news for Pat Rich. Nazi. Pat Rich is in the ACC and the everything else. That is the locations. What? Not Junior or Willie Mays. Those are the locations of the last four headliners here. Reggie Wayne and Jim yeah. Kelly in the ACC. Tim Brown and Jerome Bettis in the everything else. Dustin Rose in the Big Ten. Pat's also got the Big 12 and the SEC. And then Box Collar Mojo potentially for Michael slash Lou Otondro there in the Big 12. So 14 here for the college double. Could be the last break, guys. We will see where we are at after this. Probably do a uh, top to bottom rundown. Then we'll do a wheel spin. Talk about hit of the show, all that good stuff. But here we are first with a replica. Right? Things are getting a little interesting. This is Fred Taylor. Oh, really nice. 96 national champs inscription on there. The Florida Gators in the SEC to Pat Rich. Boy, it's hard to find a bad helmet for Fred Taylor, right? The blue and orange of the Florida Gators is absolutely classic. And then he went to the Jaguars, became their all-time leading rusher. And, uh, yeah, he's got beautiful helmets there as well so nicely done pat ty cobb rusty staub gary sheffield and alex rodriguez wow gary sheffield we pulled him earlier today ah rusty is the only person i never heard of willie was in the uh negro leagues oh, okay. when he was a teenager so he probably did it just not in the mlb <laughs> Get Pat Rich written up, and he might double up. Whether it's traditional or untraditional, he does have a lot of spots in here. However, you never know when the Big Ten or the Pac-12 are going to make their appearance. Could be right here. Next. Nice hit, Pat, from Blake. I think so. 28. is a full-size authentic helmet and hard to get out of the bag or excuse me out of the box see if he's hard to get out of the bag full-size authentic and it is a beauty pat has been pushing for this break four spots getting rewarded with the man that oh it's one of these helmets oh one of these helmets oh. it's got the stand the man that has the Heisman Trophy in 1987, Tim Brown. Everything else for Pat Rich. Fred Taylor and Tim Brown. Nice hits, my man. 
Very cool. Signed it big on that Notre Dame lid. Comes with a little stand already. You can just set that bad boy up wherever you want and let it hang out in all its glory. He says, woohoo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very nice hit, man. Love Tim Brown. Very nice dude, Tim Brown. I, I, I think I've told the story before, but it's been a minute. He did the signing for us uh, at the Chicago show that I was helping out at. Very nice guy, first and foremost. But he said, uh, you know, he's, he's from Texas. And I was like, Texas, why, for football, especially back then, like, why did you come all the way up here for Notre Dame? And he was like, I didn't want to. I wanted to play in the SEC and take the money that they were going to give me. Right. But his parents did not want him to take any money. Yeah. They wanted him to play clean in college, and they waited until somebody came that wasn't offering him money under the table. First college that did it was Notre Dame. And so he went up north, played in Notre Dame, and as they say, the rest is history. And he caught for 15,000 yards, you know. That... Yeah. Had an, just an it incredible... Got paid that way. <laughs> incredible college career. And then uh, turn that into an incredible pro career as well. He says, thanks, guys. You got it, man. You got it. That's a beautiful lid, dude. Thank you for keep on getting into the breaks, helping us out. Well earned. Well earned for Pat Rich. So that closes that up. College now, by the way, I believe we are down to nine boxes, and we still have four headliners with uh, Jerome Bettis. Reggie Wayne and Jim Kelly. The double up in the ACC is still alive. So let's show that off. Uh, we'll top to bottom run down here, guys. It's 9.15. I'll give you guys 15 minutes here. Uh, we're probably going to do the wheel spin after this, or I'll give you guys till like about 9.20 until we do the wheel spin. But let's do a top to bottom first. Starting with the baseball series, five to go in that double for just $90. In the single, it is 45. Four spots to go in the single, something we could get done. Uh, five to go in the double. Still looking for Mookie Betts. That is a big-time name in this series that's still available. One of the best MLB players today. Easily top five in just about everybody's list. What's crazy is when you're like giving a top five list, that isn't pitchers, not including pitchers. Three of them probably play for the Dodgers, no, right? Yeah. I would think Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, and Shohei Otani are probably in almost everybody's top five lists. And they all play on the Dodgers, which is crazy. Uh, but Mookie Betts, I think the best of the bunch of that group. Shohei Otani, give or take. But, uh, man, Mookie's incredible. We've got Sammy Sosa still out there, one of the best home run hitters of all time on that beautiful Rawlings baseball bat. And then Pedro Martinez, one of the best pitchers of all time, plain and simple. Steven put it earlier. We were talking about all these incredible power hitters in the early 2000s, you know, the late 90s. Pedro Martinez faced them all and dominated in that era. So he's a great Sammy's great. Mookie's great. Three photoed headliners here in the baseball series. We're also still looking for Billy Wagner, Paul Molitor, and Jim Palmer. College double is back up. Six to go. 142 a spot. And then uh, 71 here for the singles. Six to go there as well. Wide open in the college. Again, nine boxes left. We haven't seen Jerome Bettis or Reggie Wayne. We also have not seen Jim Kelly. That ACC double up for Miami. Still alive. Diamonds. A little disappointing we didn't do a diamond today, but it happens. There are nine boxes left with a speed flex. You heard that correctly. A speed flex is still out there. Aaron Donald with that yellow visor, absolutely gorgeous lid, still alive in the diamonds, as well as Kenneth Walker, Will Anderson, and Jim Kelly. A double up, by the way. Kenneth Walker and the speed flex, still alive. Four diamond headliners left and only nine boxes. We are six to go on the double. And eight to go on the single. The one and four could happen. Outside chance. Two spots to go in this double. 252 for the double. The Miguel Cabrera baseball bat still out there. And the Hakeem Olajuwon. As well as Gary Payton and Steve Iserman. So four headliners left in the one and four. 14 boxes left. Two to go in the double. Three to go in the single. Jerseys have six spots left. But only three boxes left in the series, guys. There's no photoed or listed headliners left. But it is a guaranteed signed jersey that's coming out. $27 a spot. Ain't too bad. Last but not least, the mini helmets. It is eight spots to go. In three minutes, guys, we're going to do this chase wheel spin. With that being said, there's only three boxes left, and we didn't pull Will Anderson in that first one. So it's now a one in three chance at the last photo headliner being that lunar mini Will Anderson. 
So two minute warning here before the chase. Otherwise, we're just gonna do uh, the people in this break right here. Brent Selleck and Randy Gratishar coming out, the two minis in the roughing the passer mini. So Will Anderson still out there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's put uh, let's put this on because you can probably put it away after we show it off for a minute. Uh, but you know, if we didn't have a baseball theme going on, this is probably the best helmet we pulled, right? I would say that. The shut authentic with the chrome Eric Dickerson Hall of Fame inscription. Look at the lights bouncing off of it. And that beautiful, beautiful silver face mask. It's just a sick looking lid. The Pony Express. Very nice in that college series. You won't know the answer, but it's a pretty cool question. Which player was directly involved in three of the four American League forfeits in the 1970s? Oh, God, I have no idea. Directly involved. Directly involved. Wow, I don't know either. But that is, that is a funny question. That is question. a fun question. I'll know after this, and then I can tell my friends. Right. <laughs> Rusty Torres won the Washington Sen Senators' final home home game, good Lord, at RFK Stadium in 1971. Torres started in right field for the Yankees. To the 10-cent beer night in Cleveland in 1974, Torres pinch hit for Cleveland. And then three, disco demolition night in Chicago in 1979. Torres started in right field for the White Sox in the first game of the ill-fated doubleheader. Wow. Wow. 10-cent uh, beer night. Even in 1974 sounds dangerous. Right. That does sound. Ten cent beer night in 2024? Um, people are going to be blacking out. That's it's, really dangerous. You can get ten beers for a buck. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? What a country. The chaos. <laughs> what a country. All right, 920. Let's go ahead and take these guys into the chase wheel spin. Blake down to Braden. At 9.30, guys, if we're not closed on anything or super close, we'll probably call it a show. But here we go. Eight clicks, top spot, getting the chase wheel spin. And eight. Blake Winchell. There you go, Blake. I think he's the one that was playing with the gift card originally, so uh, he didn't catch a W in this. However, he is going to get some money back. So, Blake, if you're still out there, let me know. The wheel is yours. It did pretty well starting at one last time, but we can go wherever. Look, at we can we can change the text size of this. Eight's not bad. Eight's not bad. We could do eight. Comments back at... Is, so, or is volleyball already over? Did you guys win? If you read about the Tencent Beer Night story, it's one of the wildest stories in sports history. Brawling light. Wow. All right, I'm going to have to go check it out after this. The 10 cent beer story. I'm guessing there's a reason there isn't 10 cent beer night anymore. <laughs> I mean, uh, you think it's just inflation? It's probably not just inflation. <laughs> All right, starting at 11. Good luck, Blake. This one's not bad. I'm back to my sweet spot. Back to my sweet spot. $67. $67. Giving away some money tonight. We lost, but got home we got 18 one game so close wow so close at least you're starting to win every now and then like i hear stories now where you actually win 67 you said yes 67 all right last look at eric dickerson here we're gonna put him back congrats to larry jensen on that one in the first college single pulled that tim brown in the college double but we're still looking for jerome bettis reggie wayne and jim kelly he said appreciate it guys you got it man Use that gift card. Maybe go for that Will Anderson again. Especially if it's the chase. I mean, you've got a system in place right now. My last question. Who is the only pitcher in MLB history with a perfect game, an immaculate inning, and a forced strikeout inning? Clue, not the same year. Some people who don't maybe know baseball uh, look at that and say, how is it possible to get a forced strikeout inning? Do you know the answer, Steven? I know you do. But What is it? Uh, a four strikeout inning. How is it possible to get a four strikeout inning? The answer is pretty simple. It's uh, so drop third strike. Yeah, drop third strike. Drop third strike, which means when the guy swings, the catcher doesn't catch the ball, it rolls over somewhere. Mm -hmm. and You're allowed to run to first. Yep. And if you get there, you get to be on base. So that's how you can get not just a four strikeout inning. You get five, six, seven. I mean, as many times as that happens. As chaotic as that would be. Yep. Ryan Andreessen knows the answer. Ryan, if you got it, because I don't. 
But that is pretty awesome. An immaculate inning, a perfect game, and a four strikeout inning. There's a, 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 I think I've done this trivia question on the show before. It's 923, so I'll go ahead and ask it after Felix we Hernandez? get the answer here. Felix Hernandez is not a bad guess. He had the perfect game, right? Yeah, uh, he, he had a perfect game. Felix Hernandez, there you go. Man, I'm Once you said that, I was like, that's a pretty good <laughs> guess. Because I think I also remember him getting an immaculate <laughs> inning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember the, yeah. Right-hander recorded an immaculate inning on June 17, 2008, a four-strikeout inning on June 3, 2010, and a perfect game on my birthday, August 15, 2012. Go. I'll never forget. We've had King, King Felix. Felix in the room before. He has been in the room before. I'm sure he will be in the room again. So I'll ask you, but the chat can chime in, too, with seven minutes here. Uh, I believe there are seven ways to reach first base. Can you name what they all are? Hit, walk, hit by pitch, drop third strike. Hit, walk, hit by pitch, drop third strike. That's four. Catcher's interference. Catcher's interference, five. I think you've got, like, the hardest ones out of the I way. did. Yeah. Now, now I'm missing just simple Yeah, ones. now it's like, uh, you, you'll get it. I said hit by pitch? You said hit by pitch. It's not balk. It's not balk. You can't balk your way out of first. I'm actually trying to think of one, too, now. Well, okay, wait, hold on. You said walk, hit. Hit by pitch, drop third strike, catcher's interference. Yes. Those are the five you got. Yes. I can think of one. I'm trying to think of another one. Because I think error? it's seven. Error? Yep, error's one, error. and now I've got the other one. Okay. Um, seven. Yep, seven, is seven it, the Is it really one. obscure? No, it's pretty It's pretty simple. And it's not counting, like, pinch running. Like you, you are <laughs> yeah, the batter and you get first, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you are the batter yeah. and you get to first. That is funny. Because <laughs> I've asked this what question before, and people out. are like, what a "Cop out." Yeah, they're like pinch runner, and I'm like, "No, no that's no. not the question. <laughs> that's not the question." Um, no, this happens pretty often, especially now. I say it happens even more now. That's it. There Fielder's it choice. Yeah. Okay, yep. yeah, that makes yep. yeah. There it is. Round out uh, a second or whatever, and yep. you get to first base. Mm. Yep, that fielder's choice. Todd Jackson Holiday got it. Yeah, right. I was about to say, we actually just saw one. <laughs> Fielder's choice is the correct answer. Uh, yeah, that usually people can't get catcher's interference and then drop third strike. Those are the two that are like... Catcher's interference happened in the Cubs game yesterday or the day before. Look at Ryan's on fire with the baseball trivia. Well, yeah, he just pulled Ken Griffey Jr. Right. And speaking of it, good segue because that's our hit of the show, right? Got to be the kid. Ryan Andreessen coming in here big with Ken Griffey Jr. Again, this guy's doing a signing very soon, and the autographs prices are ridiculous. He got it for under 100 bucks. I think $90 in that double. It's real solid. Yeah, this is a massive profit. But Ryan Andreessen, I imagine, is a baseball fan. This ain't going on the market. This is going in his collection. So congratulations there. Ken Griffey Jr., I think hands down, right, head of yeah. the show. Mm -hmm. And I think we're both in agreement, number two is the current best player in the MLB, Ronald Acuna Jr. Love me, Ronnie. Especially this red custom, just a super nice-looking jersey. Ronald Acuna Jr. is incredible. Already got four stolen bases <laughs> this year already. Ronnie Acuna, baby. He said 1,000%. Oh, he's a Mariners fan, even. I didn't even realize that. There it is. Wow, so that's even better. Mariners fan for life. Wow. You're the, one of the that's best, a centerpiece, then. one of the best broadcasters ever. I love their broadcast. He is great. He is awesome. Shout out. I didn't know his name, but shout I out. I didn't even know his name, but he's on. Awesome. I don't know if he does radio or TV, but uh, I, I can listen to him forever. We've also got Vladimir Guerrero Sr. I nice. would say is probably our bronze medal for the baseball. I'd probably, I'd probably put him ahead of Eric Dickerson, too. Although, that Eric Dickerson was pretty sweet. Baseball was the theme today. Right. And Eric Dickerson, you should have came out two days ago. Yes. <laughs> Miss him, says Ryan and Dreesen. Yeah, we, you know, we do get uh, uh, Julio Rodriguez a decent amount as well, who I'm a huge fan of, personally. He's one of my favorite players in the MLB. All three with three. What does that mean? Oh. Record for most immaculate innings, three-way tie for first one of my favorite pitchers, one of Collins, and one of Bob's. Dave Sims, Ryan. Did he, did he leave the team? Or is Dave Sims still a part of the squad? Is he the he's broadcaster? The yeah, he's the guy I love to listen to. Most immaculate innings. Team or player? Player. It's a, it's a three-way tie. It's one of my favorite players, one of Common's favorite players, and one of Bob's favorite players. Oh, I gotta raise the question. 
Later, guys. Everyone have a great night. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for playing. Congratulations, Pat. Getting a couple of W's here. Uh, especially here. That Tim Brown is amazing. Congratulations, dude. Be back. Two-minute warning here, guys. If you want to get any other breaks done, let's do it. I will go ahead and start this little wrap-up. We'll also probably get the answer to this question. I'm curious. One of my favorite pitchers. Yeah, who's your favorite pitcher? I'm guessing it's a White Sox pitcher. Mark Burley. I was about to say, does, does, Mark, have, does, does, have Mike, have does Mark Burley have that many immaculate names? I just names? feel like you would know because you're a Sox fan. You've watched them pretty – you're suffering through this, so I figured you'd watch them when they're somewhat decent. God. I was younger, though. But even so, that is that is a great guess, though. I'm guessing it's Mark Burley. But we are we are live every single day, guys. Three times a day. 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Time. If you're thinking, darn, I would have really loved to have seen another break happen, or I would have liked to have gotten involved, don't worry. Because you can just go today or tomorrow and get back in there and see it all happen and be a part of it. All these series are still going to be there. What's great about us is we get a brand new series that follows a series that closes. New jerseys are going to be in the room soon. New minis are going to be in the room soon. New diamonds are going to be in the room soon. All that good stuff. But 12, 3, and 6 every single day. We pulled one today. It's Mad Max. It has to be. Sandy Koufax, Nolan Ryan, and Max Scherzer. I guess, I guess Nolan Ryan is one of my favorite pitchers because I was hyping him up the other day, saying he was one of the best of all time. I think those were guesses. Um, comments said Koufax, Mad Max. And then the other one's my favorite Randy, pitcher. Randy Johnson. The unit? He is a unit. Oh, it, Chris Sale? Oh, Chris Sale. He's gonna have a Chris Sale's a stud. He's gonna have a rank for I wish it didn't end so bitterly. Yeah. With Chicago, but he is a beast. He is a beast. Uh, 2015, Chris Sale is my least favorite pitcher to face in MLB The Show history. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Dude, he was... He's unstoppable. He's so ridiculous. He's, he's <laughs> disgusting. He's like everything a left-handed he, pitcher should be. Like, like in his prime. <sighs> when he was in his prime, he was everything a left-handed right. pitcher should have been. <laughs> And, yeah, just, they never put a good team around him, and then it just got ugly, and then he left, and unfortunately, he could not stay healthy, as Bob just said, cannot stay healthy. That's his biggest problem. Well, it's kind of like Steven Strasburg, who actually had a great career, mm. but he just couldn't stay healthy, man. He was supposed to be, like, the golden child. I think when he played, oh, he was, yeah, just couldn't stay healthy. Uh, after he signed that extension, I think they won, um, they won the World Series in 2019, and he signed that extension. Do you know how many pitches? Do you know how many is it innings? It's pitches. Do you know how many pitches he threw after that? How many? 560. That's not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. Of That's pitches. not a lot. 560 pitches. pitches yeah. Like, uh, That's like seven games, eight games. Dude was such a monster, though. He was. Dude. I mean, he had it all. Hey. The Nationals lined one up, okay? That's all oh. I'll say is they lined one up. They got some good guys in their system, like Dylan yeah. Cruz and uh, who's uh, the other one? C.J. Abrams, James Wood. James Wood. C.J. Abrams, They got Mackenzie yeah. Gore. They got guys. Yeah, they, they've got some dudes. They're going to be some people. They're going to suck this year. But, big big but, time. Yeah. <laughs> big but they're going to suck this year to hopefully get better here in the next like couple of years. Get another nice pick. Yes, right? It's all add, a vicious cycle. One. Baseball goes in 10-year cycle. Unless you're the White Sox, in which case you just, like... No, you guys are in the... You kind of peak, and then you you don't peak high <laughs> When enough. you're tanking, and you go like this, you guys are, like, right here still. Like, you still yeah, have to yeah, hit... Yeah, we still got a You long still haven't tank. hit rock bottom, which is... it's This part is worse than rock bottom. They just got... Usually... <laughs> I know it's 932. We should be signing off. But, like, usually... When you're at your peak, you're at your peak for, like, at least a couple of years. You know what I mean? The White Sox had one good year. Yep. Was, and then it completely it 2020? fell apart. Wasn't it 2020? I think so. And, and it just completely fell apart after that. And they've been horrible for four years. It'd be one thing if that was, like, a decent division. Yeah. It's just not. No, it's not. They're not <laughs> they competitive should, at all. They should die They're terrible. Division, yeah. um, also, I don't like Josh Naylor. I just want to put that out there one more <laughs> we time. We have to emphasize this yeah. one last Before time. Before we hop off. <laughs> Colin. Josh Naylor, if you're watching. Josh <laughs> if you ever see this clip, Josh Naylor, <laughs> I, you're probably a tremendous human being. You suck as a baseball <laughs> player. <laughs> and your brother, for that matter. I hate you both. I hope we never get Josh Naylor in the room. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a fun show, fun baseball show. Ken Griffey Jr., Ronald Acuna Jr., 
and Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Any final thoughts from Stephen Ryan? <laughs> Matt, I know you're a Sox fan too, but please. No. Please. No. Just get Josh Naylor one time. We are not. So getting... that he can pull them. We'll only have it be a Wednesday exclusive no, series. No, no. I'm not pulling Get a Josh dual Naylor. signed by Josh and Bo. I don't want either of those oh. guys. <laughs> With like a White Sox killer inscription or something. Just awful. <laughs> We'll look at it off uh, after the show here, Bob. I need to find one. I need to find one. I'm sure it exists. I don't want anything to do with it. (laughs) 12, 3, and 6 p.m. Central Time every single day, guys. Make sure you tune back in tomorrow. I think Dom's back, right? Is he still in Vegas? I think he's back. I think he's back. I think it's Dom and Robbie tomorrow. Dommy. Dommy and Robbie tomorrow. Me and Common tomorrow night. Doing the whole darn thing over again. We'll see you guys there. Have a good night.